Hello, precious people of God. Trust you are doing well by the grace of God. We thank God for yet another day to spend time with Him, another day to commune with Him. I want us to take a short exercise, and that is, I want you to click on that like button to help spread this good news abroad. I want you to help us share this good news, and that YouTube will also recommend this channel, this video to others, and they will also be a blessing. Also, let's take a short reading from Job chapter 38, verses 12. It says, Has thou commanded the morning since thy days, and then caused the day spring to know its place? Now, this tells us of the great opportunities, of the great blessings we enjoy as children of God when we speak into our day. And so, it is what we are about to do. Open your heart, be alert, prepare your spirit as we receive inspiring messages from the man of God, Apostle Joshua Selman. Also, if you are new here, hit on that subscribe button for us and then on that notification bell. Keep sharing this message abroad, keep sharing on Facebook, keep sharing on YouTube to invite others to join us as we bless the world. You are a blessing. Thank you. One of the things that I fear personally is holding on to something that I think is true only for me to find out after wasting my time for decades that what I have held and thought was light was never light. Are we together? The Bible says that we be careful lest what we call light be darkness. You can hold on to something and be so convinced about its reality only to find out after decades of frustration that it's, it's, it does not add up spiritually. Praise the Lord. And so as we examine the subject of faith, please, I want you to be determined to understand this thing once and for all. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So we're discussing tonight on the dynamics of faith. Last week we, um, by the way, if you've not gotten last week's teaching, please do get it so that we can follow on together we began to discuss how that um faith is not a movement faith is not a doctrine faith is not a choice you don't choose and say i'm a man of faith no faith is a system that was designed for believers to live by and to walk through we examined last week how that um the Bible had a lot of things to say about faith. Habakkuk 2 verse 4. We looked at that scripture, the B part, how that he said, The just shall live by his faith. The just shall live by his faith. So in this kingdom, we live both in terms of the longevity of our lives and the quality of the life. It's a function of faith. Hallelujah several things in scripture in the ministry of jesus we see him telling people that the reality they desired was according to their faith not according to his ability according to their faith and um, we spoke a bit about the word of god i shared with us a few things about the word of god and some of the confusion that has surrounded the subject of the word of god and how that many people indoctrinate themselves religiously and never grow in the knowledge of the word i said to us last week how that god's ultimate desire is not for us to have this in our brains god's ultimate desire is that we become an expression of this we become the pages of scripture in reality the apostle calls it living epistles we become expressions of everything the bible is saying praise the lord so that if i forgot my bible at home um i will not have to weep because my life is an expression of the same i can walk to someone and use my life to read john 14 verse 12 for instance i can walk up to someone and read hebrews 11 from my life my life became a, it, it, it um, becomes a manifestation of this scripture so that the people can now see that the word has become flesh and then is able to dwell among men but once we once we we take this bible and wrongly indoctrinate ourselves and think that the power is just in the cramming of scripture now don't get me wrong it is important 
but the power is not in the cramming of scripture john 1 verse 1 in the beginning was the word and you believe you are powerful just because there is memory of scripture no it says ye search the scriptures for in them ye think you will find life and you will not come to me the scriptures testified of the christ the living logos and now he had come they had all the words the scriptures but they did not receive him so the end of all our bible studies and our study of god's word is to come to a point where we can have an encounter with the word of god the word of god um, is not just the speakings of god it's not just the writings of god the word is logos logos comes from the word thoughts meaning the intentions of a man so when we say that you have received the word of god that means you have submitted that your life becomes an expression of god's idea god's intention a word carrying believer is not a, mem a memory verse crimer a word carrying believer is one who has subjected himself under the influence of the word praise the lord and we shared a few other things that i think are worth listening to again and again um, tonight we are going to be looking at the dynamics of faith we're going to be looking at the operation how does it work last week we saw what faith was i will still define it and um, it never tires me to help people understand the dynamics of faith let's define faith please hebrews chapter 11 verse 1 gives us a general definition it says now faith is the substance the tangibility of things that are hoped for and then the evidence of the things that are not yet seen so the apostle is giving us his definition of faith that faith is the substance of anything that we expect and the tangibility the proof that what we have not obtained yet um, is within reach and would eventually come to us but let's write a few definitions of faith that i think will really help us i'll give us three number one faith is sharing responsibilities with god faith is sharing responsibilities with God in the light of his word so as to get a desired outcome faith is sharing responsibilities with God you can put in bracket partnership with God faith is sharing responsibilities with God and the basis for that participation is the word of God in the light of his word faith is sharing responsibilities with god in the light of his word so as to get a desired outcome the second definition of faith faith is the name given to the action that we take faith is the name pay attention to this very definition faith is the name given to the action underline action the action that we take based on our conviction and understanding of god's word faith is the name given to the action that we take not belief action the action that we take based on our understanding and conviction of god's word these are very interesting words we are going to be looking at tonight i'm taking it slowly and i'll be as simple as possible i really want us to understand it faith is the name given to the action action praise god so if there is no action there is no faith you must understand this whenever there is no action there is no faith in fact put it this way whenever there is no action there is no persuasion there is no conviction your response is to the extent to which you are convinced convicted persuaded the way men walk on earth is such that they only act in line with their convictions they may claim to agree that they believe a thing but their actions are only tilting towards the direction of their convictions hallelujah praise god 
let me use this gentleman come please now watch this if i tell this gentleman please look up if i tell this gentleman that seat belongs to you that is a seat for you you can go and sit down anytime you want to now please look up look up everyone i want to have your attention if i tell this gentleman this seat belongs to you it was prepared for you right and um prepared by me this is my gift to you if this gentleman looks at me and says apostle you can't imagine how grateful i am are we together now and i expect him to prove that he believes that i'm not joking by taking a step are we together it is his walking down to go and sit down are we together now now if he sits on this seat and he breaks and the seat breaks who is to blame are we together so if the seat cannot support his weight then he can safely assume that i'm an irresponsible person but not until he has taken action are we together so the name of that action is faith not the name of his believing his believing is not faith his believing is part of the process that leads to faith i think this is where believers are cheated we claim we believe god but then our lives do not show that we believe him we claim we don't believe the devil but our lives show that we believe him very well are you seeing now we can claim i don't believe satan god forbid i rebuke you but all the actions we take are testaments that we believe satan we believe his word we believe his report i'll give you an instance many people claim in the name of jesus recession does not come close to me i mean um the bible says this and that the cattle on a thousand hill belongs to the lord all that that confession after ranting and rapping our daily lives show that we are living in fear in uncertainty that's faith you are taking in the negative you are you are agreeing with the devil by taking action are we together so faith is the name given i tell this gentleman this seat is for you and he says thank you sir and he takes a step now let me tell you how it works in the realm of the spirit pastor femi i want you to do something for me can you lift that chair up sorry we're acting a little drama lift it up so he doesn't see it okay now watch this believe there is a chair there go and sit down now i said it softly and it was easy for you to believe because you saw a chair but now in the realm of the spirit the chair is my word the chair is not an object the chair is my word so in the realm of the spirit whether it is my word or a physical chair is the same now if this guy is a believer what that means is whether his eye actually saw a physical chair or not my word is equivalent to that chair and he responds are we together so he comes and he stands and it is up to me to back it up now but this is what happens to many believers in the name of jesus i call for that chair and god says move and then you take a step and stand here and the devil uses scripture to say look wisdom is profitable to direct there is a difference between a chair and a floor this is the floor and then we stand here and say in the name of jesus who told you i, I mean i know it there's a chair there we are rapping and saying all kinds of things but the power is released at the point of action not just at the point of wishing sit down please are we together now faith right we're defining terms faith is the name given to the action we take based on our conviction and based on our persuasion of the word of god number three faith is obedience the third definition of faith faith in one word is obedience in two words complete obedience 
faith in one word is obedience two words complete obedience three words obedience and consistency are we together now first john chapter 5 verse 4 the bible clearly tells us that our victory the quality of our lives the exploits that we will do please listen this has nothing to do with ministry being a man of god or a woman of god this is a factor that will determine the extent to which we can make progress in life first john first john 5 verse 4 okay it's projected it says it did not say faith brings victory faith itself is the victory that overcometh the world and it says even our faith this is the victory that will bring you financial success even your faith this is the victory that will bring you healing even your faith this is the victory that will stamp the gates of hell even our faith that's if you and i are to be victorious in this kingdom we need faith we need to understand it learn how it works and live by it now if you see someone putting trousers on his head trousers your trousers that you wear you see someone just tie it on his head he's either acting or he's mad agreed do we agree because the level of civilization in our world today should not allow a sane man behave like that are we together now when you are dressed in your trousers nobody looks at you and says uh -uh, why did they cut this trouser into two why is your leg in one hole and another no 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 no. it's not strange are we together that's how faith should be you should never have to look at a man and say you're a man of faith that statement alone is a sign that we are not walking by faith are we together this is the victory my victory as a person our victory as a ministry your victory as an individual as a father as a husband as a leader is not just dependent on intellect please i want you to believe this believe this this is not some word of faith doctrine this is the basis of a victorious life on earth even our faith there are a few things we are going to be looking at right now that for me forms the equation of faith haven't agreed that faith has to do with our action i want us to closely look at why many people really do not act in faith are we together let's look at an interesting scripture i want us to examine a figure romans chapter 4. we're going to look at abraham let's take a case study at the life of abraham from verse 18 romans chapter 4 from verse 18. paul was speaking about the man abraham and he represented a portrait of a man of faith the Bible already told us to look up to Abraham. So we are looking up to him now. There are certain things. Verse 18 frankly has everything that we need to discuss the dynamics of faith. Very powerful scripture. Very, very rich. Ready? It says, speaking about Abraham now. Listen. Who against hope? You can stop here. You can stop here alone and just discuss that. Meaning it is not unusual for any believer to have an obstacle another word for who against hope means in the presence of an obstacle in the presence of a limitation please listen in the presence of a desire in the presence of a need in the presence of an emergency in the presence of an impossible situation who against hope meaning physically speaking there was no no sense in thinking there could be a way out then he says believed in hope so the first thing we see in that scripture 
is the presence of impossible situations are we together now listen listen let me tell you something never allow obstacles scare you i think this is a revelation you should write never allow obstacles every obstacle in life comes to you in its magnified form i don't care what it is every obstacle in life every obstacle in ministry it presents itself in its magnified form who against hope who with no job who with no child are we together now who with no father who with no mother who with no sponsor who with no connection who with cancer who with hiv who with a tumor who with a breast lump believed kabbalataya i like abraham they did say he believed and later discovered there was trouble and said ah if i knew there was trouble i wouldn't have believed he said after being aware of the circumstance he still believed who against hope believed who against that report believed are, are we following who against that report madam you will never have a child we have checked you and we found out there's no fallopian tube who against that report still believe that she will carry as many children as she wants now please let me tell you something it is when faith manifests its results that it becomes pleasant the journey through believing God looks ugly, stupid, and childish until the results vindicate you. Make no mistakes to think you will be rejoicing while you are ongoing. The Bible says there is he that weepeth, bearing precious seeds. When you hear the testimonies of people, we laugh about it as they testify only because we have seen the other side of the miracle. But the manufacture process of that miracle, it took audacity and seriousness who against hope listen if you are a believer who is alive in our day and our time you better get used to obstacles prophesy to your neighbor and say get used to challenges i didn't say call them they are there there are giants on every mountain if you don't find a giant you are in the valley i guarantee you are we together only God knows the mountains that we are going to face in our lifetime. You have the effrontery to declare that our path will be as the shining light, shining brighter and brighter. Who against hope believed? Are you learning something? You know, listen, listen, listen. When I hear many people talk and they say, Apostle, I don't know what I'm going through. I'm even confused. Then I tell them, what did you expect? To believe when there is no challenge? It is usual to believe in the midst of obstacles. That is even when your faith comes alive. Please, I want you to... The start of the journey of faith is the presence of impossible situations. If you are going to be a leader here, let me tell you, there is no amount of fasting that will vindicate you from the presence of obstacles. You better learn the system to keep you under their feet. You see, as you grow in the knowledge of God, do you know what makes a man called a father of faith? He eats challenges as food to a point where he sits and crosses his legs. And while they are now announcing and saying, ah, do you know? If you don't produce one billion tomorrow, they are going to lock the church. He goes to bed. The obstacle knows that he's going to give way. There is a way you go to hell, there is nowhere to run to again. And you look at the challenge and you say, I'm coming out. And it must respect your voice. Let me tell you one way God makes us overcomers. Can I tell you? It's not very interesting. God puts you face to face with your fears until you no longer fear them this for somebody i'm telling you i'm enjoying what i'm saying you can't believe it so he puts two face to face 
he does not put you to mock you he puts you to reveal the strength invested in your spirit man hallelujah the presence of obstacles let's follow the dynamics believe so the first thing we see is the presence of an obstacle the second thing we see is that through a system we'll be looking at shortly the man chose to believe God spoke to him and this was a prophecy so shall thy seed be as numerous as the sand in the seashore and the stars and Abraham believed believed when Sarah could not bear any child believed in spite of his age he counted God faithful let me tell you something do you notice that the faith of Abraham was hinged on a word are we together are we together now the faith of Abraham was hinged according to that which was spoken according to that which was revealed you cannot stand on nothing and claim you have faith your faith must be hinged on a prophetic word it must be hinged on a revealed word let's discuss proper the dynamics of faith the journey of faith the journey of believing God and taking action starts with revelation everybody write it down revelation revelation the first key to your manifesting a life of faith is revelation revelation what is revelation revelation is insight into the promises of god insight into the provisions guaranteed by scripture revelation 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 also means insight into the system that will deliver the results you desire insight into the system or the operation of the system that will deliver the results you desire there are many systems of operation in the bible that are responsible for the delivery of different results are we together revelation insight the hallmark of revelation is understanding write it down you truly have not had revelation if you do not understand understanding is a point where you now know how that principle works and you know the role you have to play you know the role you have to play good master what shall i do to be saved not do you want to save me the problem with most believers is we know what god should do but we do not know what we should do we know what god should do but we do not know what we should do remember in hebrews 11 last week all through the journey of faith in hebrews 11 they said things or did things they the common denominator with all those elders the bible says obtained a good report is that they took action based on their conviction of god's word so we see revelation that leads to understanding listen it is vain to act on a word you do not understand when you don't know your role listen 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 confusion always comes into any life where there is no clarity clarity there must be clarity of assignment clarity of purpose concerning my prosperity oh god what is the way out you see you don't guess your path of breakthrough you find it out through revelation are we together the doctors say i am ss i am on a journey to change that report so what do i do ss i change you it won't change that way that's not faith number one you are not standing on any known word you know you are just speaking blindly you're not going to get a miracle that way is god helping us now many of us think 
the point of miracle is when we confess scripture no 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 there is a law confession is useless until you believe we are going there with the heart man believes first you don't confess to believe you confess to make it manifest that you have believed the bible calls it the spirit of faith or the operation of faith is god helping us tonight please pay attention to where you have been missing it so that you can correct that link are we together so let's use someone again come thank god you're a doctor now this guy has god forbid in jesus name this guy has um his ss for instance now watch this please because this may be you this guy may be ss are we together now i want to change from ss to aa is god a herbalist no is he a magician no is he a miracle worker absolutely yes so the first thing you have to do is not just to say in the name of jesus me i'm tired of this thing but it's there are we together oh it must change then you go for test no 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 you are taking action based on what are we together now it is not action i'm showing you where we cheat ourselves in the body of christ it must be based on something so this guy the first thing he needs is an encounter with the word that has a provision for his healing you read about money you'll be rich but i guarantee you you'll never you'll never be healed the 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 revelation about money does not bring healing are we together the revelation about money does not bring healing just like jollof rice is not fried rice although rice is involved in the two processes are we together now you do not just read anything and say because it's scripture remember you are reading the words of a man is is his commitment to you the dynamics of faith this guy wants to change his situation the first thing is is he really interested do you know i have found out it's costly to believe that there are people who want their situations to change you may think because they come for miracle service they really want their situations to change it's not true it's not true at all that's why jesus will ask them what should i do for you i can't assume that you are tired of being blind you may just want money are we together now I think it was Papa Deboe that shared a story of somebody who I think he was crippled or so I can't remember and then he prayed for the person and the person was healed and the person got angry he really got angry because I mean he got a lot of uh, uh, generous donations from being crippled people pitied him he didn't have to walk now that his legs were working no more free lunch and he said he told papa Debo, you know he was angry what kind of thing is this you have you have scattered my whole destiny i didn't ask i just asked you for money not for healing as funny as this looks there are people like that there are people who love being pitied they enjoy their attention they get around obstacles so they hug those obstacles and remain there hoping to draw empathy through it you will never rise out of challenges that way you must so hate where you are that you do any scriptural thing it takes to get out of there woe to them the bible says what is in zion this guy if he's passive about changing from ss to aa i guarantee you he will remain ss oh can i pray for you yes i don't mind you are just careless and casual there is nothing intentional you are not angry enough it's not a concern to you are we together no you don't approach spiritual things like that that level of 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 um, pacifism does not bring result when you are determined and you are saying the name of jesus christ my entire lineage everybody has been ss i don't find the genotype ss in scripture that means something is wrong somewhere and i'm going to change it so his first assignment is not to start speaking his first assignment it's not to run to the hospital for test it will still be ss i guarantee you his first assignment is to find the basis upon which his action will be placed on the word of god 
you see faith is hard work that's why lazy people cannot believe god faith is not cheap that's why we prefer talking because we think there's nothing to do in the name of jesus i am free you are not free we are seeing it you are not free faith is not foolishness there is an aspect of the equation where you're speaking now gives life but not just that you lazily speak and then you think things will change no sir is god helping us so he's he begins to search the word thank god for technology i download every place where jesus healed matthew mark luke and john while people are snoring their destiny i'm awake showing how serious i am lord i believe and then i begin to study for by his stripes by his stripes the holy ghost begins to take advantage of that word and i see jesus christ on the cross crying and looking at me and i see the blood dripping and the spirit of god takes me to the communion drink this my blood of the new testament an exchange like a blood transfusion whoever drinks of my blood eats of my flesh i'm showing you meditation has my life in theology is called the doctrine of interpenetration the mystery with which two entities become one i not only believe in him his life he says this is the testimony that god has given us eternal life then he says this life is in his son whoever has the son has life now while i'm meditating the devil is trying to tell me when you finish wasting your time i'm there waiting for you but then i take my eyes who against hope and while you are meditating you will feel the pain i'm not telling you you are going to be laughing oh apostle you don't know is is 10 years i've been married i know i know it's not easy i can only imagine please i don't want you to ever think faith is not denying pain listen please this is where what preachers have made a mistake sometimes in a bid to help you become a man of faith they can say just pretend there's no pain and you say there, there is pain please there is pain does not mean you don't have faith but what i'm saying is i know that there is an obvious situation but against it against it against it i am looking up to something higher are we together now so i am coughing out blood everybody is seeing that this is blood i can't call it water i will be lying that's stupidity that's not faith this is blood i am i am shrinking it's obvious that this is witchcraft attack but against it i'm believing by his stripes and i'm meditating upon it let me tell you the moment i begin to study through the stories then i hear while the evening was come they all came and gathered to hear and to be healed now the holy spirit locks in there with you to hear and to be healed that means the working of miracles is tied to the hearing of faith the hearing of faith the working of miracles the hearing of faith the working of miracles there is something you must hear to plant faith you act on that word a word that is spoken the hearing of faith you see now the word of god is growing in my spirit the holy ghost is infusing something in me the hearing of faith the working of miracles the hearing of faith the working of miracles you act into that fire petrol on fire your spirit is ready for miracle service now you are coming for miracle service not carelessly people just strolled and came let's come and see what will happen but you have already come with a revelation the hearing of faith the working of miracle are we together now the hearing of faith the moment the man of god comes up your spirit is open the hearing of faith the working of miracles in the name of jesus christ be healed and you don't just stand and say but i didn't fall and you are saying a lot of stupid things that are cheating you while you are standing wasting three hours and you are being cheated there the hearing of faith it is useless to take action when understanding is not there understanding defines your role in the equation please write this down but it works through faith the grace of God appeared to you but the action of faith there was endurance there 
as free as salvation is someone must take a step of faith is that true please don't get into this understanding that because it's by grace it comes to you by itself you have a part to play you are God. that's why we call the meeting koinonia it's a sharing together it's a participation if you understand this key you will know that you are to sit down and wait for God blindly is to sit down and wait in frustration forever are you getting what I'm saying now we're examining the dynamics of faith so understanding now I have come to a point let me use finances now this gentleman was born from a background for instance poverty causes yokes suffering you know all kinds of things this person gets tired of his situation and prays and fasts and say Lord change my life now let me tell you what that fasting will do that fasting will enable the Holy Spirit lead him to a tape lead him to a book or lead him to the word because it is not magic the best he can get from that prayer and fasting is favor that is instantaneous someone will just come and say the Lord told me to give you 20,000 that is good but that's not it's not enough to fund your destiny so God encourages that current situation because you are hungry it's obvious you will die if it doesn't show up so 20,000 is given to you to help you but that does not mean that's his system of doing things now you go and study the word directly or through men and women who by grace they've had access to that revelation now listen i begin to study the word of god and i find out that there is a role i have to play are we together now i there is a role god has to play this is god here his path is eternally settled don't confuse this so i now begin to search from the word of god there is he that scattereth and yet increase it there is he that withholdeth more than his meat and tends to poverty that scripture attacks my greed and i come to terms with the fact that i'm a greedy person i've never helped anybody that scripture he that gives to the poor lends to the lord ah i've not given to anybody so this is the key yet ye have robbed me lord i believe i'm now seeing i've always been greedy and I told you, remember Hebrews 11, the first elder the Bible talked about was Abel. It says, by faith, Abel offered a more excellent sacrifice. He gave lavishly because he believed that God was his supplier. Cain was a miser because he did not believe there can be another supply. Let me tell you, greed is one of the proofs of unbelief. That's why politicians are very lavish because they know they can fetch it again so they are not necessarily walking by faith but there is a conviction that they can fetch it anytime people are greedy because they do not think it will ever be enough by faith abel offered a more excellent sacrifice is god speaking to someone here let me show you the major of our faith where we miss it in the dynamics of faith let me show you a very interesting scripture bless you bless you bless you let me show you one scripture god gave me a revelation that i mean it just blew me in a way um matthew 17 please we'll read verse 15 to 20 media help us it's going to us tonight matthew 17 15 to 20. matthew 17 15 to 20. matthew 17 15 to 20. are you there now watch this this was the case of a lunatic right it says lord have mercy on my son the father of the boy now for he is lunatic and so vexed and oftentimes he followed into the fire and off into the water we're reading down to 20 and brought him to the disciples and they could not heal him so this was a situation where the disciples tried to act are you seeing that it's not all about action 
and jesus answered and said oh faithless and perverse generation how long shall i be with you how long shall i suffer permit you bring him hither to me verse 18 and jesus rebuked the devil and he departed at him and the child was cured from that very hour 19 then came the disciples now listen listen came the disciples to jesus apart and said why could not we cast him out why could not we prosper why were we not healed they were asking a question why we did not get results verse 20 i want you to look at this scripture god gave me a powerful revelation i'm about to show you i've heard many preachers talk about it but god gave me a new light it says and jesus said unto them because of your unbelief please listen it says for verily verily i say unto you if you have faith and say grain of mustard seed not size and the bible says as far as the earth remains seed time and harvest meaning your faith is inactive until it is planted until it is planted the seed is the word the soil is your heart faith is of the heart he's giving us an understanding to the operation of faith if your faith can act in the similitude of a mustard seed it is the smallest but when you plant it in the right soil give it time are you getting what i'm saying now so it's not talking about size many of us just come and say the size does not matter are you kidding faith is a seed is like the mustard seed how do you benefit from the mustard seed i have i have a, a, a little bowl full of mustard seed and sometimes i look at it i turn it it's so small really tiny i turn it and it doesn't even fall you know just sticks to the bottom of the bowl and i'm looking at it i say oh this little thing and this is what the bible says our faith will be like but the wonder of that seed is when it gets to the soil meaning your faith standing inactive not reaching your spirit once the word of god has not gotten into your spirit faith cannot be produced it must be like the mustard seed planted watered allowed to grow then it moves mountains the seed does not move mountains the tree the seed produces is what moves mountains Is God helping us tonight? So revelation, understanding, produces conviction. Now, the point of conviction in the faith equation is what we have called belief, pistis. Belief, belief, conviction, persuasion. Are we together? Belief is not the same thing as faith. Belief leads to the manifestation of faith but belief is not the same as faith the moment you have believed then you are now ready to take action but that does not mean you have manifested faith by itself i believe god will prosper the business i have studied the word of god i understand the dynamics i have sown a seed i have studied i have gotten mentorship now you have believed the next thing is to take action this is where the action part that we call faith comes in are you seeing now most people start taking action blindly and we never get anything number one an encounter with the word produces revelation leads to understanding understanding leads to your knowledge of what your role is in getting that desired outcome then you are convicted we call it persuasion you are now persuaded beyond the obstacle so i know that there is an obstacle before me but i also know that that mountain is surmountable now i can take steps are we together romans chapter 10 please we'll read from verse 8 to 10. let's look at some of the actions that we can take to complete the faith equation there are not many actions we take the actions are broadly obedient actions broadly obedient actions it says but what saith it the word nigh thee now listen 
even in thy mouth and in thy heart that is the word of faith which we preach this is the dynamics of faith now right that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the lord jesus and thou shalt believe in thy heart that god raised him from the dead thou shalt be saved verse 10 this is the correct protocol for confessing the word of god the correct protocol for confessing the word of god is first with the heart man believes then with the mouth confession is made are we together the bible calls it the operation in fact this is what the bible calls the spirit of faith second corinthians 4 13 give it to us please second corinthians 4 13 second corinthians 4 13 but we having the spirit or the operation of faith as it is written right it says we having the same spirit of faith according as it is written how is the spirit of faith the word spirit there means the operation of faith so also if you want to operate it this is what you must do you must believe and then you speak you don't just speak blindly brothers and sisters the word confession comes from the hebrew word homologio and the, the the context of the word is to repeat as you have heard but it's not just to speak as you are hearing it is actually to repeat on the strength of the conviction you have based on what you have heard it literally means reflect the person talking to you both in conviction and communication not just speaking the person talking to you is standing upon an understanding you too stand upon that understanding and then you speak are we together there are different actions please listen write this down there are different actions that the bible requires for different manifestations of results there are different actions that the bible requires for different manifestations of results there are different actions an example of such actions number one speaking speaking consistent with god's word speaking is an action that the bible requires there are instances in scripture where the delivery of certain results attached to your speaking releasing the power of creation the creative force of the word calling the things that be not as though they are number two giving there is the action of giving piece of a seed a piece of anything that is of worth is an action there are instances in scripture that will require that action to perfect your faith are we together the third action a step of faith physical steps of faith as in the case of healing physical steps of faith you move the part of your body that could not move you try to take action by faith physical steps of faith physical steps of faith number four obedience to revealed instructions obedience we are stating some of the actions that can be taken that the word of god the step you need to take is obedience to an instruction given by God there are faith actions is God helping us the end of your faith experience is that you get to a point where you now commit God now listen God write this down God is only committed when your obedience is perfected God is only committed when your obedience. Please, I want you to understand this. God is a loving God. He's a gracious God. But he has subjected himself to the influence of his word. The Bible says that he exalts his word even above his name. God is only committed to your cause and to your life where your obedience is complete. The Bible tells us in Habakkuk chapter 2, it says the vision will speak in the end. It didn't say the vision will speak in the beginning. 
you will take steps and it will look like nothing is happening another word for faith is consistency is god helping us please action let me emphasize a, a little more about this action action taking action for me it's about the hardest aspect of faith do you know why because sometimes write it down most faith actions are risky most faith actions are what risky most faith actions are risky you have two hundred thousand you are looking for two million and the holy ghost speaks to you and says so everything and you have 72 hours to raise that money now that's risky what if that was not god you have complicated the case listen another word for faith is r-i-s-k is a risk that's how you spell faith faith is spelled r-i-s-k play it safe you will lose out in life you must be audacious not stupid audacious that's why your faith must rest upon something god said this i take him by his word if i perish i perish but i count him faithful are we together it had never happened but noah i will do it see training yourself to hear god is one of the greatest investments you can make in your life write it down growing to a point spiritually when you learn how to hear god is 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 a treasure you will you will live to enjoy for the rest of your life because the problem for many people is whether it is really god the problem is not that they do not have the grace to obey let me tell you why the disciples obeyed effortlessly they could not doubt that it was not god they said that which we have seen that which we have heard that which we have handled right and satan has done something to our generation satan has created a haze and a cloud around spiritual perception there is no time in human history where there is confusion about discerning what god is saying he has corrupted every avenue every biblical avenue to hear god because satan knows that faith comes by hearing so he focused on corrupting dreams corrupting visions are we together so now you don't even know whether the person you saw in the dream is your husband again because you saw somebody whereas it would have been a good opportunity but satan has now confused it you saw 20 faces you don't even know there's you, you are not you are even afraid of the dream we've had people who were praying and landed in shika there have been cases like that people praying in tongues you see how satan wants to corrupt everything let me tell you something satan fears that men hear god because he knows that when men hear god they can take action and if it is god he will commit himself so satan's project in your life is to confuse you as much as possible so because he knows that your faith is tied to the word of god it's tied to the clear of what you know what god is saying if someone walks up to me now and says apostle do you know this koinonia program you are holding is not in the will of god you are out of the will of god and you have been walking in disobedience you are about to die now i'm not going to go back and say god please help me is it that i didn't hear you the encounters that lead to this was so certain brothers and sisters never do anything major in your life until there is solid conviction but i know god sent me do you know why many people chicken out the voice of god is not clear don't marry when you have not had the voice of god don't give birth to children when you have not had the voice of god you thought you had seven now when the going gets tough you hear three it's not clear see i'm saying this let me show us where because you see him i told us last week i hope you know during the time of the apostles they didn't have this so their faith was entirely dependent on what jesus told them 
Jesus told them, go to the lordship of Israel. The kingdom has come. Heal the sick. Cast out the devil. When he was speaking, faith was planted. They believed him. Did they believe him? They were persuaded. Now he did not go with them. So you don't have to wait until you see the physical presence of Jesus. They went. He sent them just like he's sending his word. So his word went with them. Don't, Jesus must appear before you obey. His word is him in your life. He said go. Now don't think they were just laughing. When they saw someone's hand twisted. In a way that he say, is there bone in this hand? I say yes. Heal the sick. As you go. I tell you this happens to me all the time. We returned from Yola. It was a mighty from from Mubi. It was such such a mighty mighty crusade. I mean, there were all kinds of miracles, miracles, miracles. It was very humbling. Nobody gives me a guarantee. That's why people stage manage miracles. It's not easy because they want to make sure they can create it. If God didn't speak, let's speak. So they can say, hey, Jimmy, behave, your hand is not working well. So that if God does it or not, at least you can release your hand and say it's working now. Because faith is hard work. If faith is not hard work, nobody will fake miracles. Are we together? God will never give you any guarantee outside of his word. Looking for any guarantee out of his word is unbelief. He will send you with his word. Watch this. I have money here. I like using money to teach. Come. The guy is already smiling. <laughs> Watch this. Hold this. What is this? You can't say you don't know it. What is this? Money. 1,000 naira. Please look up. Look up. Call this the word of God. Are we together? Now, this water is 1,000 naira. Huh? Are you holding 1,000 naira? This is the evidence of what you have not seen is that true this is faith is the substance this is water for you this is the same as water because it can buy water are we together go and drop it and pick water and come back so shall my word not return drop it now and come it shall accomplish because his word is currency when he sends you the word can buy you things miracles signs this guy dropped the 1000 now the way God, once the miracle happens the process is reversed the word returns back to him ready to be sent again the word is like a messenger it returns to God meaning it has not yet returned to heaven and it will stay there waiting for your faith to insist believe what I'm telling you don't think I'm motivating you because the fire in Nigeria will require you understanding this yes that's a song that's the song the word you speak can do what what's the song can turn things around now watch this i've given him the word of god hold it this is the word of god spirit and life are we together and then you drop it they will say you are too small to hold it whoever can hold it can receive it so the word of god watch this because you rejected it as many as received him he gave them power to become they received so they had power to become so he gives you a word son you are going to your marriage will be a blessing your children surround your table as at the time he's, he's saying this you ask a lady out and say i want to see your parents and she said don't ever talk to me about marriage again but the word of god says your marriage will be a blessing are we together the word of god to you comes male and female he created them he says seek out of the book and read none shall want her made is to take this word and never let it go you can fall but hold the word i guarantee you if you hold this word it will bring you a result it will bring you a result i know what i'm saying that is how this work that we are doing by grace came that is how this thing you see will come into your life now anybody who ignores the word of god is really foolish you are studying the word of god is the same thing as using an atm every time you are studying imagine yourself using an atm please answer me is this minerals 
help me is this minerals if i dash this guy now and i say buy balls after the program he will be laughing did i give him balls did i give him um, minerals i gave him the substance of what he's hoping for i gave him the evidence of what he has not seen so paul says now faith is the word of god i give you the equivalent of the blessing here is the principle to cash it and you say god i want money and he says you are foolish you see how foolish a lot of people are you will excel i'm showing you rugged faith because i'm telling you our generation is a generation of complete unbelief try to do anything that is of faith people will call you stupid that's why people don't get any significant results in their lives when it's time to pray for the sick god told us to put a miracle service so we tell the sick bodies come listen how come i am laying hands on somebody how am i sure or how am i not sure that this guy has a communicable disease that can infect me too do you know the kinds of people i have laid hands on tuberculosis whatever if i am lying with this thing i'm telling you by now you will know you are praying for him the problem is on the leg you are praying on his head he's saying no no it's here as if it's where you touch it's not just where you touch when you take panadol do you swallow it from your leg no 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 answer me you just swallow it and go to bed the drug knows how to find its way and solve that problem why have we downgraded the word of god help that lady under the anointing look at me i'm showing you a principle that if you understand you will change your life are we together so shall my word be so shall my word be so shall my word be god gives you a word hey jimmy i want to make you a billionaire take that word i am making you a kingdom financier you take that word by the time he's giving you that word your atm is 20 naira so what who taught you that this is not currency please believe what i'm telling you so you take that word you've not been pregnant you've been trying and trying the baby has refused to come kill me he sent forth his word if i give you one thousand together with the skill of a doctor and the doctor now says lie down and cuts you opens you and removes whatever tumor you will be grateful god gives you this and says this is both doctor this is both money just take it now let me tell you something the moment you fulfill your part of the deal this word is so powerful it can become anything the bible simply said the word became flesh flesh means it had a material substance albert einstein suffered and did something to the world that we have refused we have punished people and given them zero in physics not knowing that that albert einstein formula is the secret for transferring spiritual realities he gave us a relationship between energy and matter that energy and matter are interconnected they can be changed it's not physics that spirit that's that's the word of god he simply calls spirit energy because there is nothing else he can call it there is a system that transfers the word of god to a material vessel you are standing and god says i'm going to give you a house where is the house in his word take that word the word itself will begin to move people i look at things in my life today that god told me they will come and i watched them come today and i said lord so your word really brought this anything the word of god cannot produce is not available write it down don't let no herbalist fool you don't let no science deceive you whatever the word of god if the word of god cannot give you a child i guarantee you no amount of witchcraft and diabolism will give you a child they will only give you trouble in human form
Hallelujah. Is God helping us? Revelation leads you to understanding, brings you conviction. Now convicted, you know what you should do. Then you take consistent action. Consistent action. You are not going to take, you see, you must add to your action patience, brothers and sisters. You must add to your action patience. Nobody plants maize and comes next week in the farm and gets angry. When you plant maize, what do you expect to happen to it? Please answer me. When you come back and you just see one little green thing, do you complain? You start rejoicing. My maize is growing. So why don't you celebrate the miracles when they start? The leg could not move before. But now, something is happening. It's moving. And you just look and say, Kai, this man is fake. It's not working. When Elijah saw the cloud like the fist of a man's hand, immediately, immediately, he rejoiced. He didn't say, I will keep praying until the environment is tense. Immediately, he saw that he knew that the system of transportation had arrived. The goods had arrived. And he started preparing to run. I'm on my way to better days. Listen, faith, faith is God's system of rescue. You may say, I did not come from a good background. Listen to me. You may say, my father was this and that. I didn't have the opportunity to be educated. I didn't have the opportunity to grow up in London. I came from a village. Faith is the victory. Faith is the victory. We are gathered here tonight because of faith. God sent a word. Men believed it. They walked with it. They mounted pressure on his integrity. I'm on my way to paradise. Hallelujah. One time, we're returning from, I don't know which of the, I, I can't remember where we went now, and a lady sent me a text and said she saw whether she saw me having an accident or something or a plane crash now it may be that that's what the devil had planned to kill me on the road but you see i have an understanding that at the point of obedience god is also committed not just to bring his word to pass to protect you while you are obeying him are we together now i can sit down and just make noise and brag and say no no no, no i will not die and jam myself and shred myself into pieces they will carry my bones and bury me. you will just cry for one week i know you love me but i tell you one week and that's all koinonia continues i go to heaven but i didn't finish my assignment are we together see the next time you make an audacious statement pause sila ask yourself what am what rock is my house built upon because it is never the building it is what the building is upon you are seeing people dying you better ask questions it's happening are we together you are not giving birth please i want us to be honest with ourselves this night we are going to examine the areas in our lives where things are not working and find out what part of this equation am i missing good master what must i do Good master, what must I do? Oh God of prosperity, what must I do? God of influence, what must I do? There is no excuse. There is no excuse. There is no excuse. Oh, witches and wizards, nonsense. There is one person getting a result. Is God challenging us? We must take responsibility over our lives. Over our lives over our lives and he will protect you god gave us a word we believed it there are many things that god has said to me even in recent times and these things look big and gigantic but then i just told him i said lord i'm a believer you have trained me well you trained me well in the school of the spirit god trained me to believe him god is able to do 
Just what he says he will do. He's gonna fulfill every promise to you. Don't give up on God, cause he will give up. He says, Listen, the word of God. Yes, the word of God. Just with the word of God, yes, I will. It created the heavens and the earth. It can create my destiny. I don't believe it. Keep watching. Ha! When a man has vowed to believe God, I show you a dangerous man. You stand on his way, the word will clear you as if he didn't see you. Never conclude on a man who has vowed to be addicted to see let me tell you do you know why i preach and talk to you i have seen what god has told me you will become i have seen it not just in visions he has told me i prayed to god one time and i said lord i don't want to pastor people who are weak i want spiritual men but men of influence and god told me this is what you do so you are sitting now i know you are wearing a rubber shoe don't worry you will see what will happen to you I've said it prophetically we will all be great and the greatest part is we will all know ourselves I said this thing when we were sitting on mat I believe yes Lord I yes Lord I believe is where now let me tell you you can choose to there is something called the mystery of mockery a lady gets up in the night and she's prophesying i'm a virtuous woman in the name of jesus she's reading books and you say are you this desperate for a husband the mystery of mockery see let me tell you do you know why many of us don't this this our this our wanting not wanting a bad name huh i don't want you to say i am this and that see if you don't make up your mind to obey the word of God and you leave the word of God because you are trying to be nice to people you will fail and they will not come to help you are we together mockery when you saturate your phone with nonsense music you are listening to anything and it doesn't matter and you say look I have to be social right I said before you life and death I said before you blessing and cursing because there are people listening to me right now and we think what I'm saying is nonsense. You will find them. They want money. They want influence. They want anointing, but they will never listen. While the word is coming like this, they sit down there in pride and they are arguing it. And then they never really get any result. I have not seen one person who is ashamed of God and ashamed of the things of God who rose up gloriously in his life. You pray in tongues, you have a little corner you are praying in tongues somebody just enters and you just behave as if as if as if what you are doing is an embarrassment outspoken obedience because you believe god god said it i believe it one day god will tell you carry 80 percent of your clothes share them strategically God, I just bought this one. You would have given me the instruction before this one arrived. Can you do it? Don't laugh. I'm telling you why people never rise. See, let me tell you something about not just prosperity, but the blessing of God. If you do not stretch your, your, your giving life, you know how a rubber ring is. You must get to a point where you are you can release anything at the word of god otherwise get ready to be poor i say this the key to increase is not greed the key to increase is not business the key to increase is activating the word of god you are not a title you are scripturally entitled to poverty i guarantee you i guarantee you it is not a gimmick by a man of God to collect your money where people of integrity most people are not consistent titles most people don't give we are greedy greedy not to the poor not sowing into anointings not nothing yet 
you want a harvest to come from where the bible says if the cloud if your cloud be full of rain i cannot afford to walk into a future i have not sent seeds ahead of no are we together the word of god i believe this word and i act on it i act on it this is the word that has helped us so far when you stand before a sick body there is no guarantee you can pray in tongues and do all you need to do but at the point of obedience jesus said they shall lay hands on the sick come so this brother is sick i know he's sick we are all seeing the lump i'm seeing it he's feeling the pain but jesus said they shall lay hands on the sick now it is up to me to look and say kai you said how did this thing come and just turn back let me tell you what i've done i have robbed god of the opportunity to prove himself now somebody may ask apostle but the other time i did exactly what the word of god said and it did not happen do you still count him faithful let me tell you something about god if you obey god sincerely from your heart and there is no result then it has not finished keep watching there is hope for a tree even though it be cut short he said at the scent of water have you watched films actor and the boss they will beat the actor as if he entered a meat machine you will think he's dead but from the beginning of the film a ghost appeared and told him he was going to make it you know all those kind of films while they are beating him he's remembering that vision and sometimes he would die truly then the ghost will appear and give him life because the ghost must defend what she said oh come on if a ghost can appear to defend it why not die believing god it's better than living believing men who cannot help you i believe god seated in this place bless you are men and women who are where they are today because they have believed god let me tell you make no mistakes in this congregation and people following online are men who are where they are today because they have believed god by faith there are people here who were once muslims right we have some of them here by faith they believed god and his prophecy and they denied the shame some of them went through hell in their families including death threat by faith god committed himself people sold cars and houses like idiots believing the word of god there is he that scattered and yet increases there's a man years ago he's a pastor he gave this testimony true story he went for a convention and there was a building they wanted to roof it and they were raising funds for the roof and you know he had his own house beautiful house personal house and the holy ghost ministered to him and said son i want you to give this house to that church they will sell it and roof the house he didn't know how to tell his wife that's why i said it's good to hear god as soon as he held the wife's hand she started crying because her too had had the instruction from god and she looked at him and she said if it is god let's give it let me tell you something they came out of that house as landlords and became tenants what do you call that in our society stupid stupid is that not true your parents will say never come for koinonia again if this what that idiot is teaching you people don't ever but they they remember the word of god not just intention not just desire the word of god do you know they sowed that seed it was heavy upon them but from that day the lord spoke to that man and said you will never build a house in your lifetime again as at the time he was speaking i think he had at least 17 of those houses all gifts somebody comes and says god said i should give you this bungalow please come and look at this house if you like it now you like the man's story do you like what he did if you claim to be abraham's children you will do the works of abraham he took his only begotten son there are men who god gave them instructions all through this year from 12 o'clock till 3 o'clock 
spend time with me 12 to 3 is me and you that's hard work there are people God give instructions first one year January 1st to December 1st there are people here there was a gentleman that fasted 400 days 400 days I rounded up the last day with him I've never fasted 400 days in my life 6 to 6 not, not 6 to 10 6 to 6 please I'm challenging you Koinonia your destiny is in your hands everybody say my destiny is in my hands if you want to rise up you can take this word today next week I'm going to be teaching us on faith boosters I'm going to be teaching us the mystery of thanksgiving praise partnership the things that help faith to stand Romans chapter 4 verse 18 let's attempt to round up we are going to pray tonight this is the victory Romans 4 18 believed so let's look at a few words those are the key words there against something he believed that he might become according to that which was spoken God spoke something in my life I see obstacles standing against I believe that I may become that which has been spoken say in the name of Jesus say it in the name of Jesus everything God declared about me I make up my mind that I will walk by faith I make up my mind that I will live by faith One of the things God is already telling me about the miracle service, this month's miracle service, is that he's going to be focusing on fruitfulness. This fruit, we are going to deal with this issue of barrenness, this miracle service. If that's the only thing we do, we are going to trash it to nonsense. Next week, we are going to announce it. I don't care where the baby will grow. Whether it's on the leg, on the head, that baby must grow. Do you believe God? You believe God for miracles. I wish, I wish I can, I can bring my heart and put it into you so that you will understand this thing. Nothing will ever change in your life until you walk by faith. Look at me. Nothing will ever change in your life until you choose to walk by faith but apostle what if it does not work let it not work then you blame god but not before the system of the kingdom is not until you see results step first there are people god has given instructions here they will never take a step there is an action you must take do you know there are times that god can give you a crazy instruction go and lock go and lock yourself in a room the action may be praise Tehillah, praise God. You know those Igbo songs? Those, those, what they call them? And God can just close you there and say, dance for one hour. It looks stupid. Are we together? You feel you are too big. Ah, uh ah, -uh. dance again. God, just say, I should sow because we think he he uses the foolish things let me tell you i want you today to learn to be a child before god sometimes the instruction god can give you is when you come for koinonia as praise and worship is going on or worship just lie down flat on the floor that's an instruction that's an instruction it looks stupid but there is a miracle in that instruction the miracle is not in lying down the miracle is the unashamedness to obey god Are we together? I remember a woman one time, she had been trusting God. I don't know why I'm talking about barrenness. She had been trusting God for a child and the Lord gave her an instruction. She said she should buy, she should buy children's clothes, baby clothes for two people who already gave birth in the church. Do you know this woman went and they said, God told her, this was what she said, that the money she would have used for her own child, this woman shopped like die and divided it into two and gave those children like two months she took in. She took in. In Mubi, 
where we went um, they might even be following online now the last time we went before last week while we went there one particular person he believed you know the wife they've been trusting god for a child a lecturer there in the university there and nothing had come and he believed the instruction he believed god gave him was that he should drive me that was the instruction throughout the program a doctor phd dropped his pride and was the one who was driving me all around drove me all through when we left that place i think it was one month later his wife took him when i went i went to pray for them where was the demon where was the cause the cause is only stand because your disobedience keeps them standing when you are ready to radically obey not not half obedience let me tell you i believe in my spirit one of the greatest areas of disobedience in our lives is giving i'm not saying this because i want money i fear god please don't don't please don't confuse this i want you to prosper one of the reason why many of us may never rise in our personal finances where we are is this giving thing is that you you would rather pray for 12 hours than to give 1000 naira you can even pray and do frog jump as you are praying but the money should come out of your pocket no so you never rise your spirit is charged but you are poor so you excuse the instruction by going for prayer department meeting you even go by three and say lord i give you one year extra prayer before they start no every result every result has the instruction that leads to it every result has the instruction that leads to it every result has the instruction the apex of your faith work is when the instructions come obey fast and obey completely obey fast and obey completely bishop oyedeko was sharing how that while they were dedicating covenant university in the presence of dignitaries people coming from different nations other intellectuals he said the lord told him with his suit or whatever it is that he was wearing to lie down flat by the gate of covenant university in the presence of everybody to lie down flat and hand over covenant university to him and he said that was what he did in the presence of everybody he went down flat now it's easy for you to go down if you like you can fall down or lie down flat but for a man at that level he said he laid down flat and he said lord i hand over this university to you And you can see that it is God that is leading it. You know when God is leading a thing. Please, I'm speaking to us. It's time to lay your burdens down. And pick something higher. And start running with tangible results. For some of us, throughout this 2016, the only thing that has moved forward in your life is your prayer life. Nothing else has moved forward. That's not the will of God. It's the will of God that everything will move forward. hallelujah our parents have disobeyed god to their peril they they never walk by faith so this car i bind that spirit i suffered with my money this is my first car so it becomes your last one you stay with it there and punish the whole family members do you know let me tell you the thing about faith if you are not manifesting faith and you see someone manifesting faith and getting results do you know what will happen to you you will be angry that's all that's why the society is full of angry people what is this lady doing that they are promoting her in the office she must be sleeping with the manager no sir you she's obeying every instruction god is giving and she's three years in that place of work but she has risen you are there but you will never obey god do, do not over intellectualize God God is spirit God is spirit God gave a corporate instruction and they obeyed when was the last time if you cannot look at your life and say you had an instruction from God honestly honestly something is wrong with your spiritual life you should go for a retreat when God begins to give instructions Femi wake up it's two o'clock but I need to speak to you. Just spend some time. No more sleep. And you put worship song. And you are just walking around. Lord why are you waking me by two? 
it looks like these kind of things have become extinct in the body of Christ where God wakes people when you say God wake me people look at you we wish God you God doesn't know who to wake is he's waking you you see we, we have become not not koinonia now not koinonia where spiritual people but I'm saying this carnality has so swept the body of Christ when people say God spoke to me just I beg there, God, God does, doesn't know what to speak to what what made us become like this God can say stand up Femi he may not tell you why he's just saying pray just keep praying shakata that's all the instruction God gave. Walk around and pray. 30 minutes, he has not said anything. 40 minutes, he has not said anything. 50 minutes, he has not said anything. One hour, he has not said anything. You remain at the last place of instruction until another one comes. And you continue praying. One hour, 10 minutes, you are still praying in tongues. An anointing comes on you. And he says, speak your Bible. And you begin to write. I will make you exceedingly great. God is a master of speaking to people in the night. Ask anybody that knows God. The night time is when his voice is, is, is clear. All the people who don't have faith are sleeping. God is speaking to you. I will make you exceedingly great. He will use a scripture. As I was with Moses. So I will be with you at Jimmy. Ah, you wake up in the morning with that word. Guys, the Lord has spoken to us. He said he will be with us in Koinonia. Ah! Oh, let's see what will happen and you begin to see evidences of his presence there are promises that God has given me I have a very deep covenant with God I have a very I respect the speakings of God there are things God has told me I look forward to my birthdays I look forward to the end of the year when we finish Koinonia now while I start my retreat I look forward to hearing what God says you see let me tell you one thing that will boost your faith is to create seasons where you meet with God God Jesus we are one with him but he's not our mate all this nonsense that is a God if you want to touch me talk to me anytime you need to create a time I'm busy looking for money looking for fame looking for wife and husband and we never hear him one word from God will give you what you are fasting for for hundred years listen brothers and sisters where you are in life somebody was once there it took faith for them to live there you have refused to leave that place and leave the space for others use your faith and get out of that place in this kingdom last scripture it is unto you according to your faith it is unto you matthew chapter 9 matthew chapter 9 the last scripture we'll look at today and then we'll pray i want us to take 10 minutes really praying in the spirit matthew chapter 9 from verse 27 actually to 29 but you can leave it to 30 but 29 please watch this it's projected and when jesus departed thence two blind men how many blind men two blind men followed him question how can a blind man follow somebody it didn't say they called him two blind men looked for him and followed him they had heard about him are we together i'm sure they had been discussing the day this man comes near here that's the day our eyes will open what of you is me too my eyes will open that's why they were friends two blind men if two blind men can be friends with themselves for their healings you should make friends with good people don't make friends with people who choke your faith you want to take a step of faith you carry the ten thousand naira they just hold you and say sorry yo. it's not like i'm saying you should not give but you too be wise i just say oh it's true oh god you see that's not a good friend that's a nice friend but it's not a good friend and when jesus departed tells two blind men followed him crying and saying thou son of david they interceded for one another have mercy on us we have discussed this thing we are determined as friends to be free next verse and when he was come into the house the blind men came to him do you know it's interesting how jesus acts sometimes he will just ignore you as if he does not see you full of grace and truth the fountain of love having two blind men call on him and he just walks away and leaves them and gets into a room and watches their faith 
they try to stagger their way into the room and he says you are qualified for a miracle then you sit down in your home and think that god will just come to your home and give you a miracle you are dreaming two blind men are we christians are we christians i hope you know that this is this is jesus we're talking about not the disciples would have said they are proud but this is the living logos two blind men the bible says when he came into the house what happened do you know the blind man would have been angry and said you are an man you are not the messiah and they would will he change him just like many people get angry with god he is still king of kings the heavens are worshiping him you are there in hell and so you have to follow him through this one leg following and don't follow with the other leg is why many people are cheated if you will follow him go all the way then he says the blind man came to him and jesus said to them listen believe ye that i am able to do this in other words that you are standing in the presence of the world does not mean you will get a miracle do you believe are you convicted do you see that i am able to do this and this is what they said they said unto him yeah lord 29 then he touched their eyes at what point did he touch their eyes they believed they came they had done their part of the deal he now touched their eyes and this is what he said while he touched their eyes according to my ability help me please in response to the action your journey of faith started not from when i came your discussion that you must be healed while you were doing that the word was a witness to your conversation like the woman with the issue of blood who told herself if i may but touch the hem of his garment and now jesus came and they went i'm sure they were tired and they said let's just continue he says according to all that activity not just you're saying yes according to everything you started doing to that point be it unto you so when god gives you prosperity according to your endurance according to the time when you sowed a million naira and a harvest didn't look like it was coming it is still part of the equation of faith according to the time when you were sick and you tried getting up and you fell when you fell you would have been discouraged but you still said lord i believe you according to your faith listen it is not the last thing you do before the miracle that is your faith is the summation of the entire process of action that is your faith man of god according to your faith you you deserve the anointing when you were praying nobody watched you i was watching are we together it was in response to my word when others were sleeping you were standing mommy when you were interceding for your daughter i was watching his faith look let me tell you when you see successful people in the kingdom and you say it's not fair you must be joking when God is supervising the law himself hallelujah I announce to you that God is going to do mighty things in this place it will be a quick walk there is no delay we are going straight to the business of the night i tell you the lord told me that tonight will be a night of testimonies i will not speak to you if god has not told me throw away unbelief it has been stopping you from receiving throw away unbelief the bible says blessed is she that believes for unto her is there anything too hard for our god to do he created the heavens and the earth in seven days. How long will it take him to change your situation? Hallelujah. I'm full of faith and I know that God will visit you. Thank you, Jesus. For you will visit us. You will visit us. Hallelujah. I want to welcome all the people who have come from various parts of this country. Thank you for coming. We prayed for you. Hallelujah. This is our June miracle service. We will experience the God of wonders tonight.
I assure you, it doesn't matter what your situation is. If it has a name, it will bow tonight. In the name of the Lord Jesus. And if you do not have your prayer requests, please make sure you have your prayer requests very quickly. When we start, we are just going to run it through. Hallelujah. For those of you outside, I'd like you to give God a mighty shout of hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah means praise the Lord. And the Bible says, let the people praise him. Then shall the earth yield her increase. Those inside, can you shout praise the Lord? Yes. Hallelujah. Praise God. Listen. I want you to receive tonight. Receive tonight. The power of the Holy Ghost is present to heal, to change. Hallelujah. His presence is in this place. Hallelujah. Bring the lady shouting outside. Strings, strings, please, strings. Jida kapa labrando kopra su bataba lada basita ha. Jida kata brati kalabani. Distant shores and the islands will see your light as it rises tonight. Distant shores. And the islands will see your light as it rises on us. Distant shores and the islands will see There's nothing as glorious as His presence. Great are you, Lord, you're greatly to be praised, all the earth will sing. Father, you reign, great are you, Lord, shed out a mosa, na 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 Can you sing it one more time? Where are you, Lord? Hey, are you, Lord? You are greatly to be praised. All the earth will sing. Father, you reign. Listen, the first thing you need to know tonight, listen to me carefully, is that you must believe that there is a God who is set to visit you. The Bible says, unto him, Ephesians chapter 3 verse 20, who is able, your God is not weak, your God is not limited. He's not intimidated by the size of your mountain. The Bible says in his presence, the mountains keep like lambs. It's the power of his presence. It was with the breath of his nostrils that he parted the Red Sea. And the river parted and became solid wall. You must realize that your God is great. Unto him who is able. Say after me, my God is able. Say one more time, my God is able. Hebrews 11 verse 6 says, For without faith it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh unto God must believe must accept must come to terms with the fact that god 
is the rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Great are you, Lord. I know you are greatly to be praised. Tonight we will see that Father you reign. Great are you, Lord. You are greatly to be praised. All the earth will sing. Father, you reign. You must believe him. Many of you have looked at your situations for so long. Some of you came here with terminal diseases. It's eating you. There's physical evidence. Some of you have come with oppressions. Doctors have told you they're the best. You've come with impossible situations. Will you take your eyes tonight away and look up to the mighty one? You do mighty things. You do glorious things. You're a faithful God. Awesome is your name. You do mighty things. So you must believe that God is able. It's not enough to believe that he's alive. It's not enough to believe that he can heal and deliver. You must believe that he can meet your need. You must believe your need is not so big. Hallelujah. Say I believe in God. You must believe in him. I believe in you. I believe in your word and the power of its truth. I believe in you. So I lay down my cross that the cross might be found in you. Say after me, my God is able. Number two, you must believe in the vessel that you will use to bring you the miracle. It's not enough to believe in God. You must believe in the vessel. Hallelujah. The power of the Holy Ghost is so strong. Strong and mighty. Mighty. You must believe in the vessel. Second Chronicles 20. The prophet said, believe in the Lord and you shall be established. He said, but believe in his prophets and you shall prosper. It's not enough to believe in the Lord. You must believe in the vessel that you will use. Hallelujah. Human beings have always been the carriers of God's anointings. Vessels of grace. There are certain levels of grace. You don't fast your way into it. It's an election of grace. Hallelujah. The Bible says he led captivity captive. Ephesians chapter 4. It says he gave gifts unto men. Some apostles and prophets and pastors and teachers and evangelists for the edification of the saints that they the saints will do the work of the ministry that together we will come into the fullness of the stature of the measure of Christ and he gave gifts unto men and he gave gifts unto men I have found my servant David and with my holy oil have I anointed him it's not enough to believe in God you must believe in the word that comes from the mouth of God. Everybody say, I believe.
Number three, you must believe and receive your miracle by faith. Mark 11 verse 24. Jesus say, what so things ever ye desire. When you pray, it says believe that you have received it. There is a difference between receiving and having. It says, oh, I thought they projected it. Believe that you receive. Then you will have it. Receiving is of the spirit. Having is the experiential manifestation. It says when you pray, you must believe. Receive it. It is yours in the now. Listen, the Bible says receive and have. Therefore I say unto you, what thing soever ye desire, what do you desire tonight? Whatsoever miracle you desire, whatsoever breakthrough, whatsoever deliverance you desire. It says when you pray, believe that is yours. Believe it. Receive it. Receiving is by faith. Receiving is by faith. It's not a physical reality. You don't receive physically. You receive by faith. Then you will have it. In the glory I will stand I will stand And I will lift my hand In the glory We receive Every miracle You have for us in the glory tonight we stand we will stand and we will lift our hands it's in your glory we will receive every miracle you have Listen, you will never have in the physical what you do not receive in the spirit. Are you listening to me? You will never have in the physical what you do not receive. It said when you pray, it is a belief you have. That will be lying. Believe you receive and you will have it. Number four. You must take action. Listen. We call koinonia intimacy. But not just intimacy. Partnership. A participation with the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. It's not entirely left to God to change your situation. It's not entirely left unto you. The Bible says, listen to me. That when they came to Jesus Christ, Jesus came and went to a pool called Bethesda that had five porches and the bible says he saw a man who had been laid there for 38 years hallelujah when he saw that man he told him that would he want to be healed and the man was grumbling and complaining and he did not bring his miracle are you listening to me grumbling and complaining does not produce miracles hallelujah and the Bible says that Jesus told him, John 5, verse 1 to 9. You can read it. It says, take up thy bed. Hold on. How can Jesus tell a crippled man to take his bed? It is the people assist him. He said, you, stand up, take your bed and walk home. In other words, if you believe me to be powerful enough, take action. Faith is not faith until there is an action. Hallelujah. Acts chapter 3. Paul, I mean Peter and John, 
on their way to pray at the hour of prayer the bible says and then they saw this crippled man from birth sitting at the gate beautiful hallelujah acts chapter 4 verse 1 to 9 and the bible says that he looked unto them expecting to receive arms he did not know that his time of visitation had come and peter said silver and gold we have not he said but such as we have see there are people that have something let me tell you something not everybody is a noisemaker there are people that have something it's an election of grace at what point did peter know he had something because the last time the bible tells us he was sinking he was not sure he had something but now he said uh -uh, it's not peter something i have something and such as i have give i he said in the name of jesus oh this is the inheritance of the believer in the name of jesus he said rise up do you know the man did not stand he was just looking because there was no action the bible says listen this sign shall follow it will not go before them it will follow the signs follow they do. listen your faith initiates signs and wonders the woman with the issue of blood began to speak she said this is my conclusion if only i can touch the hem of his garment i don't care who is going to stop me hallelujah and the bible says peter helping his faith to work held his hands and lifted him and the bible says and he leaping stood hallelujah as the word of god comes don't sit down wondering that's the time to say thank you jesus that's the time to celebrate that's the time to check yourself check the tumor don't say i don't want to embark no that devil that has been oppressing you as the word of god comes you receive it and you begin to take action this is the last time that terminal disease i wave you goodbye you are gone for good partnership hallelujah how many of us are ready to receive tonight i know that god is going to do mighty things it's going to be very very fast very 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 fast hallelujah very very fast ushers if it's possible please start collecting the prayer request because we don't want an interruption if you don't believe prayers are answered in this place please don't write anything you will not go to hell I will reverence you, Lord. I will reverence you, Lord. I will reverence you, Lord. For in your presence there is life everlasting. I will reverence you, Lord. I will reverence you, Lord. Hallelujah. Please pass your prayer request to the last person by your side. Ushers coordinate them. Let's do it. Please pass it quickly. So we bow as we enter the throne room. Lord, we cast ourselves down at your feet. For you are holy, thou art holy. There is none 
like you For in your presence That is where I must be He's healing everyone in obedience to Christ. Sin obedience to Christ. Sin obedience to Christ. Sin obedience to Christ. In obedience to Christ. In obedience to Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. The one who does these great things. Tonight let no man be worthy of praise. Let no man be worthy of honor. Alpha Omega for the things that you will do in this place I give you praise because you always hear me whenever I call him he will answer me Elijah called on him and he answered him the apostles called on him and he answered them this is why i know whenever i call on you you will answer me listen let me teach you something before i begin to minister you can never be more confident than your secret place will give you are you listening to me the secret place is the place of authentic power the confidence of a believer is in the derivative of your knowledge the bible says let the wise man not glory in his wisdom let the strong man not glory in his strength it says but let him that glory at glory in this that he knoweth and understandeth me I know that there are many men and women of God here who have come from different places to catch the fire. And this is why I'm saying this. Listen, this is not about jamboree. There is a real person called the Holy Ghost. He's not a myth. Listen, you will never be able to walk in miracles until you believe in the reality of this personality. That he can find expression in the midst of his people. Hallelujah. Praise God. Jesus saw tears and wheat. And he gave us a verdict. He said the enemy has done this. Can I announce to you that there is a devil that will not relent over your destiny until you put him where he belongs. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. The Bible says upon Mount Zion there shall be deliverance and holiness. And then the sons of Jacob after that deliverance will possess oh there is no possession until there is a separation between light and darkness hallelujah all the powers of darkness that have tormented you while i prayed the lord opened my eyes and i saw a lot of torments that are keeping people where they are listen the lord told me something he said for everyone i was talking with my sister earlier on and she was 
just sharing her desire to receive and I, I went to the Lord about it and the Lord said that all you need to do tonight that's what he was telling me he said if you speak it I will confirm it that's what God told me hallelujah when God told me I started writing a list of the issues I know in people's lives because I've been receiving text messages some of you sent me text messages angry about some situations and my God told me he said if you will speak it I will do it tonight I tell you the truth and I lie not believe the Lord he will surprise you tonight please listen there are some of you I must say this when we mention your case or any issue that has to do with you please don't waste the time of others hallelujah don't waste the time of others struggling and then coming very shabby, very complacent. We'll just jump you. Is that agreed? Because we want to see how we can use the few minutes we have to really do a quick walk in our lives. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Lift your hands as we worship you. See the rain of your love. Feel the wind of your spirit. Now the heartbeat of heaven, let us hear. Just lift your hands. I didn't ask you to sing. Feel the rain of your love. See the wind of your spirit. Now the heartbeat of heaven, let us hear. We see the rain of your love. Feel the wind of your spirit. Please lift your hands. When I begin to sing, let it rain. There will be deliverances. Let us hear. So let it rain. Or shall spring them out. Let it rain. Open the floodgates of heaven. Moving across this building. of God is already moving but we are going to shout the name Jesus listen listen every time the Lord shows me this I see angels and I see the movement of the angelic right now at the count of three I want you to shout the name Jesus many of you will literally feel like electricity running through your body and those devils there is no hiding place tonight are you listening to me? How many of you believe? There is no hiding place tonight. There is no hiding place. At the count of three, my God, you will confirm your word. Everyone under any yoke, any spell, any enchantment, at the count of three, let the power of God bring such a one inside and outside. Let the angels of the Lord Move at the count of three. Are you ready to shout now? One, two, three. Oh, shake that I cast out devils. Go, 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 the power of darkness show back let the fire of the Holy Ghost let the fire of the Holy Ghost fall let the fire bring her leave her leave her leave her leave her let the fire of the Holy Ghost show back 
of the Holy Ghost is the fire of God it will happen to some people from outside outside the fire of God is falling and even inside but I want you to know as I begin to chant in the spirit there's no hiding place for any devil tonight Lord let your power move every power every force of darkness I release the fire of the Holy Ghost let it fall I release the fire leave them leave them leave them ushers leave them alone you will come out by the power of the Holy Ghost the Holy Ghost will bring you out from your seat the Holy Ghost will bring you out from your seat the Holy Ghost will bring you out from your seat the Holy Ghost will bring you out some of you that see men come to sleep with you in dreams and oppress you they call it spirit husband and spirit wife i don't care what the name is right now there is fire lift your hands everybody responsible for failure responsible for delay listen listen at the count of three the lord showed me in a vision this one will hit many people tonight is a night of deliverance many of you do not know this is what is responsible for your setback i already see angels standing in front and outside listen is going to, you know you will not be able to stand it it's a fire are you ready now at the count of three some of you will not finish shouting jesus lord i pray you said if i can speak it you will do it i stand under this apostolic unction every manifestation of the devil at the count of three one two three Oh, 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 oh,
for this purpose was the son of God made manifest that he may destroy put to an end the power of God is still falling I tell you devils are under major attack by Paul Zata. the angels are walking don't wait till you fall down receive don't wait till you fall down has nothing to do with falling yeah was a sound that I had in the spirit. That's why I'm singing it. Yeah. 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 Hallelujah. Bring her. It's time for her deliverance. I command you to come I command you to come don't force her she will come by the power of the Holy Ghost come come and stand here yeah. 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 listen a scripture entered my spirit he said how all inspiring are your ways through the greatness of thy power shall thy enemy submit when light enters you it makes you a madman tonight is a night of major deliverance major 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 hallelujah leave her alone Stand there. Stand there. Yeah. 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 Listen. Listen to me. Everybody look at me. Please. The word of God is not a lie. God cannot be joking with you. Anytime you take your Bible, I told God my life and this ministry will be a demonstration of the book of Acts. It's the Acts of the Holy Ghost. Sir King Salama, Salama. He's called the Prince of Peace. Hey. Salama. Yeah. Hallelujah. Leave her alone. Be still stand in one place now. Sir King Salama, your time in this body is over. Your time in this body is over. Now, in the mighty name of Jesus, out of her now. Come out of her. Out of her. Sir King Salama, out. Come out. The fire of the Holy Ghost. He make it his angel spirits and his ministers flames. Leave her now. She's free. Sarkin Salama. 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 Salama, Salina Cabo, Yabo, Serkin Salama, in a Cabo, Yabo, Serkin Salama, Salama, Salama. Your time is up. This is Koinonia. The mighty name of Jesus. Come out now. Out of her. Yeah, boy. Listen. Listen. The Lord is showing me an arrow coming from outside this country. This is what affected this boy. This thing has tied this gentleman's life. Leave him. Leave him. Come back.
back here. Come back here. Now. Sorry, everybody. Come back here. Many of you, listen. Many of you do not know that wickedness is real. You have allowed films to, to, to spoil your mind. If you don't take, I tell you, whatever is stopping, one of the things I will be doing tonight is breaking the curse of marital delay. Oh, the devil, it will answer tonight. Look at, it's already happening. Come out! Come out! This guy has a violent spirit. A violent spirit. The mighty name of Jesus. Every lecker hole you have over this body. I challenge you right now. You will leave him. The fire of God is against you. It's time for you to go out. Out of him. Out. Shall the captives be delivered and the prey be taken from the mighty. But thus saith the Lord. Let her go right now. Thou foul devil. Come out. Come out. So pray take a pariada baladala. Sarkin salama. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen. Let me tell you what the Lord is showing me about this gentleman. This guy, listen, listen, please. This guy has a very, very colorful destiny. But do you know what I just saw? From his head to his toe. How many of you have read the story of Lazarus? That's what I saw. And he was tied with snakes from his head to his toe. This is what I'm seeing right now. See, do you know that the challenges many of you are going through is not ordinary? It's because nobody has told you. But tonight there is a God to set you free. This is spirit husband. This is what is stopping this lady from getting married. Out. Come out of her. Out now. In the mighty name of Jesus. Your time is over. I'm seeing an army officer. I'm army officer. In the name of Jesus. Come out. Come out. Shekataba. Brentoko Prikata. Out of her right now. This is the spirit of lust. Go prosketaliada. Be gone. There is no hiding. I tell you something. See, the mistake the devil made was to allow you come in here tonight. I don't care whether you are wherever. If you came here tonight, if except God lied to us in the Bible. But if he told us the truth, there will be a performance in your life tonight. Sirkin Salama. Come out. Out of her right now. Salama. Salama. Listen, let me tell you what happens in meetings like this. Some of you, because of this demon spirit, the one to start pushing you to go out or to run away, you, you better stay and let God help you. The devil is a liar tonight. Are you listening to me? Okay, I didn't finish with this guy. Watch what will happen to this brother. He's not looking at me. Oh. He's not looking at me. Just calm down. Stay in one place. I'm not speaking to him. Don't, don't worry. Stay in one place. You can't go anywhere. You come here. This is a, the head of a snake I'm seeing. Right to his foot. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. 
the fire of the Holy Ghost sets you free right now from your head to your toe. I lose you. I lose you. He's going to cough out something outside. Take him outside. He's going to go and cough out something. Sir King Salama 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 Come out of her right now in the name of Jesus. Devil of darkness. Sir King Salama Salama There's someone that has a problem, a heart problem, heart problem. That was your request, heart, something in your heart. I don't know what it is. The Lord is showing me. Please remember I told you don't waste our time. Please. There's a lot of things we have to do this night. Heart. Something pertaining to your heart. If you are still thinking about it, you are not the person. Please, quickly. Salama, yeah. Salama. Salama, yeah. Hallelujah. Ah, ah. See, there is a lady. Now, don't feel embarrassed at what I'm about to say. You see snakes in your bathroom. Ladies' bathroom. Who is that person? Come out. Come out. This has been an issue. You have not shared it with people. Snakes, you are you see it. Who is the person? Please. Salama. Salama. Yeah. You are not the only one, no. You are not the only one. This is the problem. God, God is ready to deliver you. Look, this is a family. Are you listening to me? This is not. This is an apostolic ministry. So there is, we are here, we are a family. When God is mentioning your case, forget about what, what issue of shame. Issue of shame is out of the way. Hallelujah. What's wrong with your heart? Asthma. Asthma. Is asthma really a heart? This one, I'm seeing a heart problem. But I'll pray for you. Be healed right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Heal. Listen, I'm going to pray for you people. God is doing Come out of her now. Out. Come out of her now. Devil of darkness. The time is up. Just hold my hands. With both of your hands. The fire of God will hold it as tight as you can. It cannot stand. It will leave you. Because you are destined for greatness. Once I see it in the spirit, it must go. For light cannot hide in darkness. Aha, I see you now. Out! Go! Go, Kapotoka, Reketaria, Mambroscote, Reketeria Daba, Boseketalia. Out, come out of her. Out of her right now. Sarkin Salama. Look at me. Two things God is doing. Hold my hands. Hold it. Do you believe? You want God to set you free? Sarkin Salama. Look at my eyes. You just look at my eyes. Try to look at my eyes. Look at my eyes. Devil of darkness. Go! There is no hiding. For there is a name that is above every other name. What did she come out for? The same thing? Why were you afraid? Don't be afraid, eh? You hear? Hold my hands. Hold my hands. Both of your hands. Look at me. Can you shout Jesus as loud as you can? Go ahead. Jesus. 
Salama. You are free. Salama. Salama, yeah. Be delivered right now. I set you free. Now. Do you know what is happening to this lady? If I tell you, some of you will not believe. For every shout that she's making is demons that are going. When she's done, she'll be quiet. <laughs> now, leave her. Fire upon you right now out of her this lady has a great destiny this is a snake this is what i'm seeing this is a whole snake mighty snake the lord is against you let her go now That is above all names. Hold my hands, my dear. Hold my hands. No, I'm not speaking to her. Don't worry. Come, hold my hands. I'm not speaking to her. Don't worry. You people do not understand spiritual things. You are spiritual people here. Come, hold my hands. The demon knows what it means, what I'm saying. Salama, yeah. Salama. Hurry up, please save our time. We, we don't have much time. Salama. Hold my hands. Don't tap it. Hold it. Out now. Salama, yeah. Salama. Watch the way this demon will live. Come, see. Listen. You will go on your knees. You will bow to the king of kings and go. Simple. You will go on your knees, bow to the king, and off you go. Sir King Salama. Salama. Salama, yeah. Listen, this is not jamboree. As I see my father do it, don't go and try it. You will die for nothing. This is not child's play. Hallelujah. Don't you think we're just, no, I'm not one of those ministers. I can't come and waste your time. God is too serious. Are you listening to me? Now lift your hands. Many of you do not know. Listen, please, now is the time to stand both for yourself. If you are a lady here, there is no reason why you should not be lifting your hands. marriage is a blessing it's not a curse as I, I as i talk as i talk because you see I, I see a sword of fire leaving my mouth i want to break certain demonic things many of you don't know what is stopping you and your loved ones for some of you is a row in your family many people have told you nothing just just hope one day no we don't do that nonsense in this place now faith is lift your hands hallelujah listen the moment we shout the name Jesus some of you listen you will testify whatever is happening to you here will locate all your loved ones around listen the reason is because there are ordinances of darkness.
that are keeping some of you your parents took you to places in the name of protection and that devil will not let you go the Lord instructed me to do this hallelujah if you are here or your loved ones there has been delay men come they go or maybe you have a child and you're thinking you will not marry that devil is a liar this night are you listening to me so don't just stand for yourself alone don't say it does not concern me don't be foolish hallelujah are you ready now you will see the demonstration of the power of the spirit Kai, because see i'm seeing blood i'm seeing blood dripping on the ground let me tell you what this means there are covenants and ordinances this is what the lord is showing me but my bible says the blood of jesus speaketh better things better things at the shout of the name jesus the demons responsible for any marital delay god you said if i speak it you will do it right now at the count of three it will hit some of you in a mighty way inside and outside lord let nobody be spared one two three break 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 ushers bring them out ushers bring them out break 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 the yoke be broken the yoke be broken the yoke i release you i release you i release you i release you every cause of marriage over your family tonight be free be free be free don't don't take at her don't take at her time to get married hey bring them out don't wait till you come out the power of god is setting you free where you are yes 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 ordinances i'm seeing altars on fire altars on fire altars on fire altars on fire i set them if i be a servant of god right now i set every demonic altar on fire it will burn tonight Protocoto, reke protocoto pre, so protocoto, shake the reke the protocoto, reke the protocoto, altars, altars, radical altars, be shut down, be shut down, be shut down. I release you. I release your family. I release you inside and outside. I release you. I release you into your marital destiny. The curse is lifted. I release your sisters. I release your brothers. By the fire of the Holy Ghost. I release you. I release you. I release you. Just receive. I release you. I release you. Hallelujah.
Hallelujah. Listen. Listen. I got a text from someone. I mean, they brought someone who was sick. Who was that person? I can't remember now. A sick person. No, they sent, I remember they sent me a text that they would bring the sick person. Please save our time for God's sake. We're still going to minister to the sick. Hallelujah. Let that lady go free. Now devil. Let her go free now. Let her go free. I release the fire of the Holy Ghost upon you. Let her go free right now. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Listen. Listen. Everybody say I receive. Yes, it's happening to you. Now, please listen. I want to pray for terminal diseases terminal diseases all kinds of terminal diseases please you brought someone or you came here with a terminal disease come out quickly terminal only terminal diseases please let's save time can we do that god is locating people there are some of you god has, god is already terminal diseases please come out quickly 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 i beg you if you can run run save time please please as you come out here say lord it comes i hope you know what terminal diseases are healing rain healing cry rain unto god where that sickness I'm bye bye afraid. because it's going forever i'm not afraid of time listen can you just hold your hands together if you can I'll just minister to you at once please if you came here believing God then know that it will end hallelujah there is an angel standing here and there is an angel of the Lord standing here please listen when we begin to minister to the sick if we call a case and you came with the person please make sure you come especially if the person cannot speak English for our mothers so that we can hurry up okay the power of God will come upon some of you but it really doesn't matter that devil is going right now the spirit is called the spirit of infirmity hallelujah after a country you will say i am healed when that happens it's like electricity it will pass with power all around this place are you ready now one two three oh, Porto, be free Go, 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 go. Coming out, this is go, 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 go. Bye. 
life the fire of the Holy Ghost go 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 come back with testimonies come back with the testimony by the fire of the Holy Ghost come back with the testimony 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 I speak to you all of you come back with your testimony come back with your testimony hallelujah say I'm healed go back to your seats you can check yourselves please make sure you check yourself go to the hospital if you need I know someone with HIV was healed anyone who has been anyone with any CG see the power of God is is breaking from inside some of you are outside here you are not receiving people inside are receiving and they are leaving you listen anyone with any academic issue the Senate has refused to answer between now and the next 14 days I command them to answer anyone who is at the verge of probation listen anyone at the verge of probation i pick you from where you are and i bring you back as a student in this school hallelujah thank you jesus i want to pray for you any cause you did not fail listen See, believe oh, any cause you did not fail, but you went to the board and you saw F. I change it. I said I change it. I change it. I change it. I change it. Hallelujah any man i don't care who who is molesting and oppressing people in every in any department or any faculty whether supervisor or whoever i instruct them to begin to favor you now yeah. hallelujah now listen carefully those inside can you hear me can you hear me i'm standing out because I want those outside to appreciate this meeting. Now, I'm going to pray for you. Some of you, I'm seeing chains on the heads of... We are dealing with academic issues now. Hallelujah. Listen. I want you to lift your hands. Many of you will feel like fire burning your head. If that... Wait. I'm going to count three. When that happens to you... Listen, this one will affect a lot of people. There are some of you that are first class materials. But because of this wicked thing, you were excellent in secondary school. It's not that you are bad. Let me tell you, those days will be restored. Because, listen, listen, listen. I'm going to pray for you. Hallelujah. When I count three, inside and outside, with all your heart, shout, I receive. For some of you, that will be the last thing you will remember. Something will happen to you that will change your life. Are you ready now? Please, with all faith. One, two, three. Receive it now. Receive it. Take it. I restore you. Take it. 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 Inside. Inside. Take. Receive it inside. Receive it inside. Outside. Receive it. Receive it inside. Take it inside. Take it inside. At the back. Inside. The angel of the Lord is touching people at the back outside here. At the back, take it, take it, take it, take it, take it, take it.
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let me tell you something. Many of you will go back now and your academics will surprise you. Yeah. Hallelujah. Now listen. 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 I want all of you to think about a cause that has been troubling you because I'm about to make it to bow now. Just listen, listen. I'm working as God is. Just, just think of it in your mind just once and bring it under the lordship of Christ because I'm about to open. I'm about to tell it to open up for you. Are you ready? It's already happening to this sister. Now listen. Every department, every faculty in Amadubello University, that course that is threatening you right now, when I shall bow, many of you feel as if your head will open up. Are you ready now? In the name of Jesus, bow! 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 In the name of Jesus, bow! Bow! In faculty of medicine, bow! Faculty of engineering, bow! Environmental design, bow! Education, bow! My God. Social sciences, bow! Sciences, bow! All the faculties in Congo, bow! Every other faculty, bow! Anyone with a missing script, problem of missing script, I stand tonight under this unction and I command wherever your paper is, where, except you didn't write that exam, wherever your paper is, just as the donkey of Kish was found, I command that paper to be found now. Hallelujah. For all those whose assessments have been bad, listen, for this exam, for all those whose assessments have been bad, have been, uh, are bad, in the name of Jesus, I release makeup test, makeup assignment in the name of Jesus. May the Lord touch the hearts of the lecturers, no matter how hard they are. Hallelujah. All of you shout, I will excel. Amen. Say it one more time, I will excel. Amen. Say, excellence is my portion. Amen. Say, I refuse failure. Amen. Say, I refuse failure. Amen. I take you from pass, from third class, I take you into some of you are, are trusting let me tell you any class you need to step up i step you up right now yeah. i know some of you are doubting do not doubt the creative power of god's word it created the heavens and earth i said i step you jesus yeah. hallelujah hallelujah for all those whether you or your loved one, they've been writing jam after jam, wayek after wayek. You are looking for papers, it has refused to come. If God be God, if there is a God in this place, listen, those of you who are about to, whether jam, whether DE, you have papers that you need to make up. I stand as a servant of God. I give you the paper you are looking for. Those writing jam, I prophesy, write your last jam in the name of Jesus. Those writing whether wayek or whatever to make up. And there are some of you who are about graduating, but the papers you have are causing trouble. And right now you already have a problem at the Senate. Mercy, 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 you must graduate. You must graduate. Let something be done in your life that has not been done in this school. God is visiting people. Thank you, Jesus. 
God is opening people's files, I tell you. God is visiting people. Don't stand there doubting. God will bless others and leave you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Everything called mental blockage or exam fever, all this nonsense that comes on people, you will read and even do tutorial for others. In the name of Jesus. That spirit that makes you to forget things in the exam hall that you will only remember after you finish right right now i cast that spirit in the name of jesus in the name of jesus in the name of jesus you cannot read like a slave i forbid you from reading like a slave in the mighty name of jesus I tell you, God is visiting people in a mighty way this night. God is visiting people in a mighty way. Hallelujah. In your academics, I don't care how bad it has been. I don't care what has happened from today. Step into that, that dream you saw that your, your results has never looked like it. You have been seeing it. Enter the reality of it. Many of you have dreams. You see four points, but you write exam and see one point. I curse that devil in the name of Jesus. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. I tell you, God is visiting people. Hallelujah. Now, please, everybody who is sick. You came here with any kind of disease. I'm about to rebuke it right now, please. We don't have time. Our time is fast spent. But God is going to visit inside. Are you still with me? Are you still with me inside? Now, those outside here, I want, I want to pray. Everybody lay your hands anywhere is hurting. If it's a part of your body, you cannot lay your hands on, lay your, hands on your chest. Whether fibroids, whether growths, whether cancer, whether blindness, whether deafness, whether lameness, whatever it is, I don't care. If it followed you here, it made a mistake because it's going to leave you right now. Are you listening to me? Some of you, what you call sickness is actually oppression. Because I see that there are many ladies with all kinds of sicknesses. People think you are careless, you are not. That devil will leave you hallelujah some of you have hiv it's not like you slept around you too you don't know how it came some of you have all kinds of cancerous growth there are people they've told you 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 cannot I, I, after i finish this i'm going to specially pray for barren people hallelujah praise god now listen all of you inside lift your hands lift your hands for that healing i'm going to count three and the power of god will begin to come on sick people just those inside those inside hallelujah the angels of god are moving inside i see them at the count of three inside i tell you many sicknesses will disappear right now the moment i count three just take that hand and lay it where it's hurting and start receiving your miracle are you ready one two three receive right now take it by the power of the holy ghost now lay your hands there receive your healing right now receive your healing right now many of you are feeling like electricity is the healing anointing of the holy spirit is going through you begin to do what you couldn't do before those outside now lay your hands there are you ready to receive that devil will not follow you now in the name of jesus those outside here receive receive your healing receive your healing growth disappear terminal diseases go asthma go Asthma, go. Every deaf ear be open now. Every blind eyes be open. If your hair and one leg is shorter than the other, let the other one grow out now to equal sizes. In the name of Jesus. Every lady problem, 
every woman problem irregular menstruation ends now 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 the fire of God is burning I tell you the fire of God is burning every lump in the breast disappears now disappears now disappears now every growth in any part of your body every growth I cause that growth to its root right now in the name of Jesus I cause that growth to its root right now in the name of Jesus thank you Jesus any pain in any area of your body I rebuke it any trace of mental disorder whether for you or for your loved ones wherever they are and if you are here let the power of God touch you now let the fire of God touch you now let the fire of God touch you now let them go let them go out 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 every kind of mental problem whether it has manifested or not out 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 go go every curse every covenant thank you jesus hallelujah hallelujah now any woman here or your sister or you who has been barring please connect now is the time we want to release miracle children right now i don't know whether they have been barring for 10 years 20 years 30 years the bible says and god opened the womb of anna listen i want you to stand you are a lady here you live the promiscuous life and then you found out that okay some things happened maybe you lost your womb or something god is about to give you a new one right now i don't care what the problem is hallelujah praise god i want to curse barrenness and impotency low sperm count all this demonic infertility whatever I, I don't care if it has a name is going to answer this night are you ready everybody inside make sure you are with me hallelujah praise the lord whether for you or for your loved ones right now my father in the name that is above all names lift your hands i pray there are some of you listen some of you do not know that there are already projections of barrenness on you. It's just that you have not married yet. So don't say until you are married. The devil is wicked. God brought you to set you free. You'll be surprised. Hallelujah. Inside and outside, you're going to shout Jesus. And God is going to visit some people. There are some of you, God will visit you not for you, but on behalf of other family members. And I tell you, you will see people take in. Are you listening to me? Do you believe this? At the count of three, I want you to shout Jesus and you'll see what will happen. Are you ready? Thank you, Holy Ghost. At the count of three, let your power move across inside and outside. Are you ready? This will happen to many people because there is the curse of barrenness. And standing for anybody at the count of three, shout it with all your heart. Are you ready? One, two, three. Take it, take it, take it. Take it, Supokoto, Rekete Keriata, Barriness, go, 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 inside, inside, fire, fire is falling inside, outside, fire is falling, the cause of barrenness, Tokoto Peketa, for your loved ones, every barren woman, receive children, receive children, receive children, any impotency, Whatever it is, low sperm count, infertility, whatever it is in the name of Jesus, I curse it now by the power of the Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. Please stay with me. Sita kapala koshopete, zimbato krostu palakato sepete.
Hallelujah. I want to pray and prophesy. We want to talk on the issue of finances right now. Everybody stand up and take this very seriously. We apologize for the lightning. I believe that maybe some hitches here and there. We'll soon round up. Hallelujah. While this is happening, please let's have all the prayer requests outside here. Look at me. See, listen, look up. The secret of financial blessing is in your giving life. Are you listening to me? I don't care what you are doing. The secret, if you are not a giver, whatever you are seeing now is only a deceit. It won't last. Are you listening to me? I want to minister to you. How many of you know that God is not glorified in anybody's poverty? How many of you are tired of the situation of some of your family members? You know, you know what? Some of your parents, one job here, two months, they've driven them away. This is a curse. The problem is that pastors like sugarcoating things. They just say, oh, it's well. There is a difference between faith and foolishness. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now, I want to challenge you. Everybody, please hold a seed. Bring out a seed. You know us in this place. If you don't believe, don't bring it out. I want to break the curse of poverty. Don't you think, please, I, I, if you have something, share with your neighbor. Please, please, please. Bring out a seed. Don't mumble and grumble. Just keep your seed back, please. We are a blessed people. We are a blessed people. Look at me. Look at me, sister. Look at me. Tell her to look at me. Look at me. Just tell her to look at me. Don't worry. Leave her. Look at me. Come out of her. Devil of darkness. Ah, leave you alone. Praise God. See, while I was praying for this meeting, I saw this. Please listen. I saw a particular family. This is a revelation that the Lord showed me. And I saw them around the river. Hallelujah. Around the river with 500 naira. I don't know. I'm not going to mention them so that you don't think maybe I'm talking about a church or a ministry. We don't do that. But I saw some people seeming men of God or whatever around that they were trying to do something about financial prosperity. You see that? They killed chicken. They killed one other animal. I think goat or something. And they were invoking things on the person. And the Lord said, save this family. I saw it in the vision that the Lord showed me. There is nothing we will do here that God did not instruct. Hallelujah. Please, if you do not have a revelation of this, give your money. You won't go to hell. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Bring out something and connect it. I want to pray for you. You will lift it up. Hallelujah. Inside and outside, just lift it up. People are oppressed. Ah, people are oppressed. Listen, just lift it. Many of you, the fire will fall on you and your sacrifice. It will fall on you. See, it's poverty I want to attack. It's a spirit. Don't be mistaken about it. It's already happening to people. Everybody lift it. Please, make sure there is a seed. It will be your contact. Clash the symbol for me, please. At the clash of the symbol. Are you ready now? My father, I pray, it's your desire to prosper us. People have suffered. Families have suffered. Right now, spirit of poverty, go, go, go. Keep the offering up. Go, 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 go. For your family, I bought that spirit of poverty. It's a cause. Leave God's people. Poverty causes laziness. Poverty causes lack of failure. Lift your seed. It's your sacrifice. My God and my King. If God be God, I pray poverty be broken in the name of Jesus. Be broken. Shoketeketa. Rekotopokotupaka. 
So protocoto rekete kete rekoto preketika jobless go 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 Hallelujah. To me, my people made a covenant with me by sacrifice. I command doors of uncommon, unusual, inexplainable, financial prosperity. Let it be open now for you and for your family. That joblessness ends now. Mm, God is visiting families. God is visiting families. Any contract that has been revoked right now by the power of the Holy Spirit, I return it back to your loved ones. The curse of poverty be broken. Don't say I'm a student. Become rich in the name of Jesus. Become rich, blessed, wealthy. I program your spirit as surely as the Lord lives. God is visiting people. Twenty-one angels standing in this place. I don't know what I'm seeing. I'm seeing it, the whole of this place. The whole of this place. Lift your hands because God is about to visit you. Some of you, it's not just financial issues. God will join everything and visit you. As soon as I shout, receive it. Right from here, down to this row. This is what God is showing me. The power of God will come in a strong way. Lift your hands, all of you. In the name of Jesus, at the count of two, just two, the wind will blow. One, two, let it blow right now. Take it. 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 Don't wait till you fall. This has nothing to do with falling. It has nothing to do with falling. Receive by faith. Hallelujah. The Lord is visiting people. I don't know what the case is, but when I touch you, just know God is visiting you. In the name of Jesus. In the name of the Lord Jesus. In the name of the Lord Jesus. The angels of the Lord are pointing people to me. In the name of the Lord Jesus. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Aha. Now, out of her. Come out. Come out of her. Shekotopa, your time is up. You are a spirit. Out, out now. Pain go. Come out. Supokoto pekata lekata. Don bretons ke banda kriata. Lord, visit them. Ushers, help me visit them. Please help them, help them, ushers, so that they don't fall down one another. Visit them. Visit them. Zidaba. God is visiting your mother right from the States. Oh, no, in UK. God is visiting her right now. Hallelujah. Madam, God is about to locate you. Stand up, please. Stand up. Your time of breakthrough has come. Come and stand here, please. I don't know you, but look at me. Three things the Lord is going to do for you. Number one, God is going to change your financial story in a way that will surprise you. Number two, who is sick? Somebody is seriously sick in your family. It's my husband. I have. It's your husband. Because this is what I'm seeing. This is what is sugar? Sugar. Yes, yes. What is sugar? What is sugar? I'm hearing sugar. Diabetes. Diabetes. Yes. Do, you, do I know him? Have I met your husband? I'm hearing sugar. The Holy Spirit is telling me sugar. Diabetes. Is that correct? 
I'm going. I'm BP, BP. I'm BP. Look at me. The third thing God is going to do. Uh, are you building? Are you building, madam? Look at me. Are you? Yes. The Lord is saying that building will be completed. Yeah. These three things. Hallelujah. Are you listening to me? Because you have lifted this seed. Many of you, see. Father, visit her right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Visit families by the power of the Holy Ghost. Visit families in the name of Jesus. See, I tell you, I'm not going to touch everybody. But if I do touch you, just know that God has visited you. It doesn't matter what the situation is. It will bow to the name of Jesus Christ. Bring his sister for me, this one. Yes, come. Did I lay hands on you? It's time for God to visit you. Are you listening to me? Take it. It's over. Whatever it is, it's over. Right now. This fair lady, come, please. I don't know what is it. Come. Don't see. You people should not be angry at God. God, it, I must not touch you. Do you understand? You can see that we don't have all of the time. Eh? Look at me. I'm going to end a lot of things in your life. Seven things in total. One by one, God is going to show you. Five of them. You wrote, you wrote seven prayer points. Yes, sir. How many prayer points? Did you? Seven. The Lord says seven things is visiting you and is bringing on. Was I there when you wrote it? Seven things you wrote. Seven things the Lord is visiting them. Lord, that is it. It ends right now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Seven things the Lord is visiting you. Somebody wrote 13 prayer points. 13. 13, 13, you wrote 13. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 13. Who is that? Come, you are the one. Come. Was I there when you were writing it? 13 prayer points. 13 prayer points. What did you write about your father? My family. Yes. Peace in my family. Peace in your family. There is fight. Was I there when you wrote it? What did you write about the issue of money? Last week when I went home, my sister was complaining that yes. Because I'm seeing the Lord is showing me your prayer points. That's why I'm reading it to you. Where, was I there? There's no money. You went home. Even transport to come back. Follow somebody. Somebody gave me a lift. This is, I, I, God said I should do it to prove to you that this is not just guesswork. My God, in the name of Jesus, locate this lady. Your situation ends once and for all. Regina. 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 Who is Regina? Regina, ah, no Regina, don't miss your miracle. You are Regina, you. Ah. No, this Regina is here. Oh. Your name is Regina. Where's your mother? She's in Lagos. What's wrong with her? I don't know. Ah. Pray for your mother, oh. huh? Because this is an attack I'm seeing on her, huh? This is an attack I'm seeing on her. Be careful. Don't let any lecturer talk stories and ask you to come and visit him in the night. Does it make sense to you? Yes, sir. Does it make sense to you? Believe it. Huh? And then get into God with all your heart. Are you listening to me? I want to pray for you. This lackadaisical like Christian attitude become a genuine Christian right now by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Grace to pray. Grace. Taiwo. God is visiting your mother. Just look at me. God is visiting your mother. Lord, visit her in the name of Jesus Christ. Right from here. Just as a point of contact, God is touching her in Lagos. Visit her in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Visit her. This, this girl, eh? Bring this lady crying. Lord, end this captivity in the name of Jesus. This lady's family do a lot of diabolic things. Are you listening to me? And they have put, they have put things in this girl as a medium. This girl you are seeing, she's not the person you are seeing standing here. Hmm? This girl is very old. She's not as young as you are seeing, as in 
I mean in the spirit realm. I'm seeing somebody that is up to 800 years old. Hallelujah. Are you seeing? Look at, look at this. Bring her. This is what is wrong. They, they invoke spirits of ancestors into this girl. Come and stand here. Because they did it in such a way. Listen. They did it in such a way. And this is the invocation. That no matter how much you are a man of God, you will not see it. This is what they did. Look at. I've seen it. I'm seeing it in the spirit. Look at. This is why this cry is happening. They, they programmed it. I don't know how it is. Many men of God have attended to this lady. They didn't see it. I don't know why. Because as I'm standing now, I'm seeing a tree. This is a tree I'm seeing. A very tall tree. Keep quiet. This lady, you see, she doesn't even know if this lady gets angry, she can beat even five guys put together. I listen to me. She, 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 she will, I mean, beat you and put you on the ground that you will cry. Even her, right from a small age, she has been seeing this strange power. This is not normal. I need to rebuke that. Some of you are like that. You just think it's your family. You beat all your classmates in nursery school. Beat all your classmates. In. You are happy about it. Hallelujah. I have to set this girl free. I'm seeing rings on her legs. Rings on her hands. Huh? Ring on her eyes. Even on her eyes here. Yeah. What kind of nonsense is this rubbish thing? Hmm? Keep quiet. This noisy spirit. You will go out now. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hmm? Keep quiet. Keep quiet. Huh? Two of us won't be talking. You are going to leave. There is a legal access that is given to you. But the Bible says the captives of the mighty shall be delivered. And listen, leave her. Please leave her. Don't hold her. Look at me. Listen. Behave yourself right now. I'm going to rebuke this. Some, it will create a ripple effect on all our family members because they mentioned their names as they were killing chicken. This is what I'm seeing. One by one, they will mention their names and kill chicken. Leave her, leave her, leave her, leave her. Come back. Just leave her. She will come back by herself. This thing is more than 800 years. This is what I'm telling you. Am I wasting your time? Am I wasting your time? Leave her, leave her. When she's done, she'll come and stand here. These are demonic things. Don't be distracted by all this drama. Let's concentrate on what God is doing, please. Mama, come. Come and stand here. Your time of visitation has come. I don't know what you came here for. Eh? Your time of what did you come here for? You are barren. Is that? Yes, sir. You are barren. How many years? 13 years. I'm seeing one and three. Mm -hmm. How many years? 13 years. 13 years. You have been barren. Your, your, your situation has come to an end. <laughs> Hallelujah. Lay your hands on your stomach. What did the doctors tell you is in your stomach? Nothing. They will do scan, nothing. But you are feeling movement in your body. Yes, yes sir. Yes, sir. In the night when you are sleeping, it will be as if a man wants to sleep with you. Yes, sir. A man comes to sleep yes, and it has even affected your relationship. Yes, sir. Eh? You don't even have affection for him. Yes, yes. Do you know me? No. Sir. Have you ever seen me? No. Your time of freedom has come this night. Because this is what I'm seeing. I'm seeing a stone. A stone inside your stomach. You used to have pain when you sleep. Sharp pain. This is a stone I'm seeing. Hmm? This thing is a demonic thing. Lay your hands. 
I open this womb right now. Let the womb take in by the power of... Take it right now. All right, it's time for you to go. Now, in the name of Jesus, I challenge you, come and stand here. There's no time. See, demons can distract. If you waste time on them, they are going to distract you. Are you listening to me? All these things are distractions. Learn this. This is not just a place to receive. It's a place to learn. Many people focus. I'm not against all of but it's not necessary. We don't have all of this time. Are you listening to me? Come and stand here. Quickly come and stand here. It was finance, right? Okay. Let God solve somebody's problem right now. Listen. I release you into financial blessings. 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 Hallelujah. Pastor Jakes is going to come. Bishop Stan is going to come. They are going to speak prophecies into you. Hallelujah. I wish we had time. But as they speak, please receive. Hallelujah. They will speak and while I go up there. When they are done, we'll come and pray on your request. Can you wait a few more minutes? Can you wait a few minutes? Pastor Jackson. Okay. Please, ushers, just cast your offering. Cast your offering quickly. Ushers, all over. If there are no ushers, just be patient. Inside and outside. Please make sure you drop your money to only ushers. Hallelujah. Please lift up your hands. There's no time. Joining hands with Bishop and as we pray, whatever you desire, okay? Whatever giftings you've been trusting God to unlock in your life, whatever dimension of God you've been trusting God to push you into, as we pray corporately, the presence of God and the oil of God will be poured upon you in the name of Jesus. Father, thank you in Jesus' name. I give you praise in the name of Jesus. Even as you have declared through your servant, Lord, as we cast this seed, may it be an end to poverty and financial hardship in the name of Jesus. You cause doors to be opened for every family represented here in Jesus' name. We stand in agreement and rebuke devourer in the name of Jesus. Devourers in form of sickness, in form of accident, we rebuke you in Jesus' name. We set everyone free. Enter into your financial liberty in the name of Jesus. Marital liberty in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let me invite the ministers as we pray on the request. If you've not written your request, please write it here quickly. I want to... After this, I'm going to be inviting Uneko and his wife who are going to be dedicating and praying for their child. Hallelujah. And any other woman with child here, you're going to come out with your child. We're going to pray and speak protection after I do that very quickly. Hallelujah. Please. Very quickly. Stretch your hands while you are seated. You don't need to stand up. Stretch your hands as we pray on this request. Go ahead and pray. Father, we pray that you visit your people. Visit your people, oh God. Visit your people. Visit your people. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, visit families. In the name of Jesus. Grant every spiritual blessing that your people are asking for. Father, we thank you in the name of Jesus. We pray that every prayer point here, Lord, is answered in the name of Jesus. 
We release the angels of God to bring answers and solutions to needs in the name of Jesus. Let breakthroughs come, academic blessings in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray for businesses. We ask that prayer points here about businesses, that the Lord will open up doors in the name of Jesus Christ. We ask for healing. We release the healing of God upon your lives in the name of Jesus Christ. We bring salvation into your family. The Lord visits your family in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord blesses you with peace joy in the name of jesus christ of nazareth refreshing comes from the presence of the lord refreshing comes from the presence of the lord in the name of jesus christ of nazareth every closed gate is open in the name of jesus christ of nazareth every dark cloud is rolled away in the name of jesus christ of nazareth father we thank you we give you praise we celebrate you in our lives in the name of jesus christ of nazareth hallelujah put your hands together for the lord Hallelujah. Please quickly, quickly, quickly. All the children, quickly, quickly. Please save time. We just have about five minutes or so and we're out of. Celebrate them as they come if you know God will give you children. Please come and line up here quickly, quickly. Great are you, Lord. Greatly to be praised. All the earth will sing. Father, you reign, great are you, Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now, let me pray. Please, Uneku, come up with your wife. How many of you remember them? Worship team. Come on, celebrate your own. Technical, celebrate your own too. See, they are all seated together. Is that where they met? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Everybody stretch your hands towards them. This baby is a miracle baby. I tell you. I was there in the hospital. I didn't even know the baby was on the bed. I said, where is the baby? Hallelujah. Stretch your hands and pray. Rebuke the hand of Satan. Do it as though you are praying for your own child. Rebuke the hands of Satan. This baby is blessed. Growing normally. Daddy and mommy are healthy. In the name of Jesus. We dedicate this child in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, and in the name of the Holy Spirit. This child will grow in wisdom, in stature, Amen. and in favor with God and with men. Amen. We command this child to be an ambassador. Amen. We program his destiny to glorify Christ alone. Amen. In the name of the Lord Jesus, I pray for peace in this house. This will only be the first child and not the only child. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Pastor Jakes and Bishop Stan, can I invite you just to come and lay hands on these children? Hallelujah. As we lay hands, all three of us will lay hands. You just lay hands. I'll come back and lay hands on them. As we lay hands on the children, we rebuke the hands of Satan. We rebuke the hands of Satan. No, let me lay hands on them before they go. We are, we are doing it, all of us. Please. Very quickly. These are instructions that God is giving. We are not just doing these things carelessly. Any child, any one child that has anything that is not of God, we cancel it right now. We cancel it right now. Eh? in the name of the Lord Jesus may the Lord visit this child let his hearing be perfected in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ see how wicked Satan can be in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ these children are blessed where is he? bring him the boy ran away because this boy wants to kill himself. It's the spirit that wants to kill him. Where is he? I tell him to stand, but he went. You see what I told you, spirits? He ran away to where? Wherever he is right now, in the name that is above all names, may the Lord visit him. You will go back and you will come and testify. Hmm? I'm seeing the fire of God on him. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, the Lord visits him. You are standing on his behalf. In Jesus' name. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord bless you. Uh -uh. Come out of this girl. Devil of darkness. 
May the Lord bless you. Madam, God is really visiting your family. May the Lord... Ah, you came out for yourself or for your child. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord bless you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. I prophesy upon your life. Please stand up, everybody. Be rounding up now. Every closed door in the name that is above all names, I open it right now. Every door of failure and disappointment in the mighty name of Jesus, let that door be open now. I pray right now. Any voice that is speaking against you and your destiny, I command those voices to be silenced right now. Whatever is stopping your spiritual development, whatever is stopping your passion for God, one leg in, one leg out, I pray, I release encounters to your life. Encounters with angels. Encounters of heaven. Visions and revelations. Dramatic encounters with Jesus Christ. I pray for the spirit of prayer. May it come upon you in a mighty way. Who is this? Oh, see the boy is back. Come. Look at me. How are you? The Lord will set you free. Eh? You love Jesus. Look at me, look at me. You love Jesus. Do you like what happens to your life? Huh? Are you tired of it? Look at me. Are you tired of it? Eh? You want to be free from it? Huh? Madam, it's not this boy that is doing these things. Are you listening to me? This is a suicidal spirit. Huh? This is demonic. Because this boy is destined to be great. Are you seeing? And this is why the devil wants to destroy him. Hmm? Look at me, my brother. Why did you go away? Okay. He doesn't even know why he left. Hallelujah. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, that devil of darkness. Your time in this boy's body is over. The fire of the Holy Ghost against you. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I'm praying for you right now. Who is Bulus? It's his uncle. Bulus is his uncle. Do, you, do I know Bulus? Where is he? Hold my hands. Father, I pray that the wickedness of men will not catch up with this boy. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. My God and my King, I pray for a dramatic visitation. Look at me. Look at me. Go to church. Join a fellowship. Huh? These bad guys that are around you, they will destroy you. I cancel your appetite for them. They are, they are, trying, to, they are trying to introduce you into wheat and all of this nonsense. You will not have appetite for any of these things. Hmm? You will become an obedient and a respectful child. This hardened heart this night has been replaced with the heart of stone. Salvation comes to this family. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Rahila. Who is Rahila? Do you know anybody called Rahila? What is... I mean, well, I'm hearing the name Rahila. This is your daughter? Come. How are you, my dear? Hold my hands. See a mystery. I'm going to be praying for you. But is that your sister that is going... Hold, hold on. Don't tell me. I don't want you to tell me. Hmm? Don't tell me. Don't worry. That's your sister, dear. I'm seeing light. It's leaving you and it's entering. I'm going to pray for you. But the prayer is going to affect her. Hold my hands. I set you free right now. I set you free right now. Loose, loose her from that chain. 
be loose right now. Let the fire of the Holy Spirit. There is deliverance going on in your family right now. I don't know why this is happening, but God is bringing you through. Thank you, Jesus. Brother, look at me. Please be a gentleman, okay? Be a gentleman. Love God. Be serious with your life. You are a healer. Okay, well, you came out. Let me pray for you. The, the Lord is not giving me anything exactly. What do you want the Lord to do for you? Ah, you don't know. I'll just pray generally for you. Go. Is that okay? Lay your hands on your chest. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I command favor to your life. I command favor. Favor. Favor is one blessing that the Lord has given us here. I release it into your life right now. Yeah. Whatever has been a challenge for you, may God speak it. Yeah. Listen, when God speaks over your situation, that's all it ends. If you are here, I didn't call your case, but you came with an expectation right now in the name of Jesus, I pray for you. May the Lord visit you at that point of your need. Yeah. Every habit here that is not of God, masturbation, pornography, all of these devilish things that are destroying people, I cast it out of your life forever. I cast it out of your life forever. It will not return again. I cast it out. I cast it out of your life. Every form of immorality that stops you from entering the dimension God wants to take you, I release grace upon you. To walk in genuine holiness and purity. In the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for your parents and your loved ones. As God visits you here, may he visit them. As God visits you here, may he visit them. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. As we step into the seventh month, may it be a time of perfection for you. May it be a time of perfection for you. May it be a time of perfection for you. What you have not accomplished from January to June, accomplish it in July. I command promotion. I command promotion. All of you in ministry, I pray that you will see a greater anointing in your ministries. I release greater fire in your fellowships, in your churches, in your ministries. Let devils be casted out. Let the sick be healed. Let sinners be saved in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I command increase and expansion for ministries here in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. All of you planning for marriage, I command whatever resource you need, I release it for you. Even if the man has not come, I bring him into your life. Even if the woman has not come, I bring her into your life. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Now, inside and outside, this is an opportunity for those who have never given their hearts to the Lord. Please stand up. Everybody keep standing, please. Hallelujah. The greatest miracle that can happen in this place is that you are translated from the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of God's dear son. You have seen the miracles and all of these things. But there are many of us that need to make a decision for the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. And right now, as we begin to clap, I'll count one to five. Praise God. Inside and outside, please give them space. Inside and outside. I want you to come before the Lord here. You've never given your heart to the Lord or you made a decision for Jesus once. You made a decision for Jesus once. But you found yourself derailing. Please come out and stand here in the name of Jesus. Please, leave your seat and come out. Appreciate them. They are coming. God bless you. Please rush, rush, run, run, run. Don't be afraid. 
God bless you as you come. God bless you as you come. Don't be ashamed inside and outside. God bless you as you come. They are coming. Koinonia, celebrate them. Outside, make sure you don't stay back. Don't let any devil rob you of the greatest blessing. Keep coming. Keep coming. Young and old, keep coming. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Keep coming. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now, when I do this, Selena and my sister and their roommates, please you come and stand. I'll pray for you. Hallelujah. All of you. Hallelujah. Now lift your hands, those of you in front. Thank you so much for coming. See after me, Lord Jesus. I love you. I believe you died for me. I believe you rose again for me. I receive eternal life into my spirit. I declare that I'm born again. I'm saved. Jesus is Lord of my life. I denounce sin and Satan from today. The Holy Spirit lives in me. I have eternal life and the gift of righteousness. And I will reign in this life. And I declare by the power of the Holy Spirit that I'll never be the same again. My life is transformed. Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. I want you to keep doing something for this man of God, our man of God, Apostle Joshua Salman. And that is, I want you to keep on praying for him that the cause of the gospel may have free flow in him, that he may be granted boldness to continue with his commission of Jesus Christ and that all provisions be given unto him as he continues in this journey of Christianity. And then don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are new here. Don't also forget to leave a comment in the comment section and then keep sharing, keep sharing abroad and let's all keep sharing Jesus. I'll see you again. Bye.